Yeah. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. <laughs> I am Cadillac A. Jackson, Senior Esquire. <laughs> As you can see, I received my stimulus. <laughs> this is uh, season 12, <laughs> Pish Posh. <laughs> Episode four <laughs> of Talking Kicks, um, quite possibly the greatest show on YouTube. <laughs> and after this episode, I'm going to buy YouTube. <laughs> now I will pass it on <laughs> to my great colleagues. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, since I ain't getting no stimmy, I'm gonna keep it gutter because. <laughs> I you did. didn't you didn't get a stimmy? I didn't get his stimmy. Oh, too bad. We're gonna pass it over to Beer Jedi now. <laughs> I, I may have gotten the stimmy. I could have. I mean, uh oh let stimmy flex. Let stimmy flex. <laughs> but I can't get into me without without OG doing what he do. OG, please properly do. Yo, your part, so I can do my part. Cause I know you was looking for something. You got See, something. I, I had, I had a little something. Cause I, I said I was gonna, I was gonna keep it, keep it on the street. So, let's see. Mm-hmm. TK one three three. Y'all already know what it is. He stimulated himself. It starts with a year, and from there the energy be flowing. Kick talkers be knowing. It's time. Much that we didn't pay for this. We are new to this. We just doing it. Don't be mad. We just talking. You already know. So if you salty out there, don't be mad. We just talking, kids. What going on, family? You don't know it is your boy OG Sneakers. It's Wednesday, and it's time for me to slide this one right over to the general, the bus driver, the pilot, the man who does keep us in the air or on the road, depending on where you feel like your mode of transportation needs to be. The DK of the discount, my brother. BJ Day. See that shirt there, nappyafro.com. Uh, supremely washed, Jack Swagless, in effect. Uh, it's your man, Beard Jedi, aka the Black Alex P. Keaton, aka Shoebox Shakur, aka Albert Shuhos, aka the Boss Kick Ross, aka Iron Knight Tyson, aka Deacon Discount, aka the Undercost Boss, aka Young Cascade, aha, uh-huh. aka Martin Shooter King. Black Sock Gang Gang Gang, aka the Sneakalizer, aka the Black John Wick, and the aka the Matters of Most Jack Swaggers, sitting here with my Gobstoppers. This is not sponsored, but it should be. Holla at me, Gobstoppers. You are tuned in to episode 12, season 12, episode 4. That yep. stimulus got me talking funny. Season 12, episode 4. God. Damn, that's a lot of seasons and episodes of Talking Kicks with my fellas. But we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the mighty, mighty Kick Talker. So we got a stimmy today. Cadillac Jackson, what did you buy with the stimmy? <laughs> <laughs> what did I buy? What didn't I buy with my stimmy? Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Calm down. You ever, you ever heard of Canada? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I bought it. <laughs> Damn. Maple syrup like, for everybody. Like Canada dry or like <laughs> Canada? <laughs> like all of Canada. <laughs> my. <laughs> Maple syrup for everybody. OG with the reverse flex. Oh, you said I didn't get no stimmy. I make too much monties. I make too much monties for your stimmy. Mm-hmm. That's what OG said. I'm I balling over here that, already. But I'll take that one. He said, Y'all motherfuckers over here trying to be on my level. I'm in a whole nother tax bracket, bitch. Uh, so let's get into this roll call. Y'all know how we do. Once again, leading off the pack is paychecks, double X, 
We're kind of up in this joint. What's going on, Paychecks? I see KB Fresh Kicks, a.k.a. Mr. Exclusives up in this joint. What's going on? Dre Day Kicks, Money Bag number one is up in here telling us some yo yo. What's going on, bro? J Jeff said, What up, though? TK in the stimulated <coughs> chat. Talkers. Midgets. God damn it. Uh, Paychecks is down with the 1400 gang. Gang. I see Jamie White. This is one week I don't have to tell you what I know about Jamie White. Stimulus came out. Jamie White went through collecting bags. End of intro. Jamie White is the stimulus. Mm -hmm. We're going to move right along. Thank you for the check, Jamie. (laughs) I'm saying. Absolute styles up in this thing. What's going on, Absolute? Thank you for coming through. I also see Black Ass African in here, a.k.a. B.A.A. A.K.A. Marvin. He is a friend of ours. Now, you know, we see one. That means that even if the other one ain't in here, he's in here. So we got to say what's up to Hop Dog, A.K.A. Shoe World Order. Appreciate it. Hollywood Hop Hogan. You know, he's probably busy delivering y'all checks. Um, so make sure y'all check them out on Mondays or Sundays. God damn the stimulus talking. Check them out on Sundays. Retro Talk Forum pop up every once in a while. They had a dope show last week. Check them out. If y'all doing a show this week, let me know, Black Ass. I don't know. Um, but check them out. OG and Caddy. Y'all might remember this. Just, just a random tangent. In my suggested list, I was going through one of the old Sofu episodes. And Black Ass African was in there using his other name, Adore My 64. I was like, damn. Ooh, that's, that's a throwback. That was before we even met him. So uh, it was just dope to roll down memory lane. Caddy was in the chat liking the show and shit. Hey, you going to like this show? I mean, you own it. <laughs> I got a stimulus. You think I'm going to like anything? There <laughs> <laughs> you go. Feel good moment. OG kicks up in this thing. What up? What up? What up? Kyle Park 81. Your shirt is in the mail, my brother. Appreciate you. As well as B Franklin Kicks. Your shirt is also in the mail, sir. JC Kicks is up in here talking about talking kicks with the pound. We appreciate you, bro. Uh regular Mike, aka Stimmy Fallon, aka <laughs> L Snacko. And I die for this shit too. Damn, regular Mike. Damn, regular Mike. It's like that. Hey, regular Mike. New new treat on the street, man. Them them uh the sweet tart ropes. They got sour apple. And that motherfucker was so good. I almost went back to 7-Eleven. I was gone. Cracked over the bag. I said, oh shit. I got to go back and get some more. I got to go get some more. Caddy looking like Thurston Howell the <laughs> third. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. You got to pay for his laughs, though. You got to pay for his laughs. You can't afford his humor. Uh, Not at Roscoe all. Kicks. Not at all. Roscoe kicks in this thing. Hey, Caddy. How can I help you, sir? I see V's kicks up in this thing, bro. <laughs> Hello, twin. How are you? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Where the money reside, where the money, the money reside. reside. <laughs> <laughs> and that's on what? <laughs> Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid ass nigga. What's going on? Detroit kicks up in this thing. Artez501 is up in the show, a.k.a. Black Lacquer. Most moisturized man in the business. Ooh. We appreciate you, bro, for coming back through. I see Warren Coleman. That looks like a first-time name, so if it is... Welcome to the show. We appreciate well, you, know. you coming through. Hachi Tachi, my Negro, or my Negress, or my other. Okay? Don't know. Uh, let's see. Who else we got in the building? I believe that is it. If you're in here and I miss you, holler at me. Let me know. I see Mr. Bear 76 trying to slide through. Mr. Bear 76 think he's slick. I see you. I see you, Mr. Bear. I see G Man 315 who went on the Nike haul. Nike, and I think G Man, you know, he, I think he just showed the pictures with the caddy because he just pull up and open the door and they just throw the shoes in there. 
Because he, he had like three or four Nike uh, Nike Airs just show up. And I was like, damn, what's going on? G-Man is up in the building. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Before we get too long into the show, make sure that you like the show. If you like the show, if you dislike the show, go ahead and hit that thumbs down. But if you could, let us know what we could do to be better. Shirts are in the mail. Shirts are in the mail. Everybody's shirt has been mailed. Why do I have this shirt? Because this is a B grade. Okay. I've got a B grade. Well, this is what happens when you print shirts late at night. It's upside down, baby. Uh, <laughs> it's upside down, baby. Upside down, you turn to me. So it is a B grade, and it is an extra large. So if you are interested in the B grade extra large, holler at me. If not, it's going to become no, something. It's, it's not a B grade. Up. It's a PE. It's he's going to he's gonna wear it on his OnlyFans. Only hams. <laughs> That's right. Meat mania popping. Meat mania, and, holla at us. You know what I'm saying? I got to do what I got to do out here. Uh, but for everybody who ordered a shirt, thank you so much. Also, fuck you, because um, that was a lot of goddamn work. <laughs> I I said, look, I, I need to reevaluate my life. This is too much. This is too oh, much. So that must meant the response was maybe good. The response was good. Yes, you know thank you. We, we, and, and let me let me go ahead and say it like this now. Before y'all know, Stimmy's popping. It wasn't stimulus type popping. Oh, I understand. It was, but we, we, we're talking about inside tag, back tag, hem tag, front. As four spots a shirt. That's a lot of bending and pressing and bending and pressing. And I was woe the fuck out. So everybody's shirts was done. Uh, I only had one shirt that came in. That was weird, but I had a backup. I had to get that replenished. But everybody else who ordered the shirts, thank you so much. Um, some people ordered both shirts, so thank you so much. You know who one of the people is, Jamie White, because, you know, she don't do nothing in singles. Mm -hmm. She double up every time. So Queen Double Up got one of each shirt. Um, Black went ahead and he got double shirts. Uh, Hot went ahead and got double shirts. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate y'all for coming through yeah. and getting the shirts done. Um Oh, gee, your other shirt is in the mail if you don't have it already. Uh, Caddy, you asked me about a shirt. Look at that message and reply so I can get that done. And everybody else, if you're in here and you missed out, I have the capacity to make one more TK shirt. Don't know that I'm going to do it because you didn't order, so you must not want it. But I have the capacity to make one more. And if Caddy says that that's the one he needs, sorry for you. Hachi tachi. Is it a lift heavy? No, nah, it's a TK. It's a TK. I, I got one more TK. Okay. Wait, what you need? You need lift heavy. Wait, is it the GI Joe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll 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 matter we'll matter of fact, I'll buy the whole screen <laughs> press <everything. laughs> Buy all these. Y'all can't see behind me, but I got about seven hundred shirts. But you gonna buy all these? <laughs> I'll buy everything. <laughs> okay, let's take this close. Throw, throw, the, throw the background in there too. Can okay, I buy? Yeah, can yeah. I buy the blood gang while I'm at it? Yeah, you want this? Let me go ahead and get these out here. We can go ahead and get these out. What else you need? What else you need? The whole blood gang. I'll buy that too. <laughs> okay. Sue. You need some protection. So you, need got, some protection. you got Dre Day Kicks in the in the chat saying, let me get it. I missed out. Dre Day Kicks, what you need? I'll buy Dre Day too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Dre Day come. Dre Day come with some exclusives. Dre Day, you need you need the uh the B grade? You want the B grade? Got the B grade with the upside down TK. Waiting for Let me know. Response. Let me know. Um, but as always, y'all have already been rocking with me, so I'm gonna continue to say it. Lift heavy, LH LFTHVY.com. Use your code TK133. It's the STEMI, baby. I'm sorry, OG. I know you're about to jump on it. Help me out. Nah, he's he said he need that one -on one He said, I need that one -on one the extra one. So Oh, okay. I need that one on one and the extra. Now, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, I mean, I got, well, he need he need both. He he to get two. Down. So it, I do have enough to make an extra large Joe one. So I can make that one, but I only have one other TK for the one on one. Unless you say you want the regular TK and the B grade TK, and then you tell a caddy he can't get it. I think that's what he was saying. Woo! But I think that's what he was saying. Caddy and Caddy and Dre, they're gonna have to fight to the death. We're gonna have to get it out. Q the Queen is in the building. Uh oh. 
Hey there, OG. This is Quenisha, also known as Q the Queen. Hmm, that's interesting. Welcome. Wow. Queen. Well, I guess we in here, so we need to talk, talk about, about it. it. Q the Queen said, "Nigga, why you wearing a tuxedo blazer?" <laughs> this is my stimulus blazer. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all should see, he got the condom on the match. I ain't gonna tell you how I know, but I know. <laughs> and just know it's velour. <laughs> <laughs> got a velour condom. So <laughs> y'all know how we do. We got our black business. Look, Q the Queen said, hold on, where, they, where the hell that clip from, OG? Uh, I'm not telling, but you may recognize. Listen, don't act like this thing ain't got no stimulus. This nigga went and brought a whole soundboard. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. This nigga come out with a whole soundboard and talk about, oh, I didn't get a stimulus because he blew it. <laughs> that may be facts. Hey, Royals, this is Quenisha, also known as Q the Queen. This nigga is the feds. <laughs> I, I don't know where he got that from. You know I what I'm saying? Know. Now listen, Q done, did a, uh, the, Q done did a damn meeting at home and OG like, got it. Go right. on my soundboard. You've been sampled. I thank you very much. Um, did any of us get a black business of the week before we get into our hump day heat pickups? I do have one. Go for it, OG. All right, let me see if oh, you can get it up here on the screen. And before you do that, Pop Pop, then roll up in the building and say what's up to a real one. What's going on, Pop Pop? Pop, what's good, King? There's also some, so, somebody else. Um, hold on. Who that? Who that? Who that? Who that? Who, who that? that? Who we I missed? All came in. Did we? I mean. Did we catch? Detroit Kings. Yes. Yeah. I did say Detroit Kings. Kings. And What's you know, now that I think about it though, is that a first timer? Uh, I think that might be the first time he's been here. Welcome to the show, Detroit Kings. We appreciate you, fam, for coming yes, through. Sir. If it's not your first time, you just got an extra special shout out because we fucks with the people who watch the show. If you're a kick talker, we fuck with you. Thank you for spending your time with us. Real shit. Because if it's a day that comes and we don't have no viewers, the show's probably over. <laughs> we do this shit for the love of y'all. You know what I'm saying? We do this shit for the love of y'all. Let's Absolutely. be clear. Because I talk to these niggas every day, all day anyway, so it don't make shit. But we do this show for y'all. You, you don't think we would rather be out in the streets doing hood hood rat things with our friends? Listen, I, here. I cannot be out in the streets all right. anymore. All right, here we go. <laughs> I, mean, some, I have been to the upper echelon. <laughs> I know. I know. Kilo uh, Caddy is in the building. He he be back next week when that's done. I, I know well, he, he, the stimulus how, gonna be going. How dare you? <laughs> you know how many LeBron he, be like the, he be back the regular Rochdale. <laughs> you know how many uh goddamn LeBron PEs he finna buy? He got his stimmy, he got his wife's stimmy, and he had a baby. Look, he had a baby just so he can get stimmies. Mm -hmm. I heard him talking. <laughs> <laughs> Three stimmies from the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, man. Shut up, Caddy. What we got going on, OG? All right. So if you see it up on your screen, the black business that we are spotlighting today, and I have to uh, give credit to my wife. Uh, it's a friend of, well, not a friend of hers, but a business that she uh, used to uh, go to. And I was looking for glasses, and it reminded me that I wanted to get something a little bit extra. So the business is These Eyes of Mine. Now, if you're in the DMV, uh, the curator and the owner of these eyes of mines are is June Mines, and she's also an optician, so she can help you literally with your visual issues. Uh, but also, um, she specializes uh, in funky eyewear. So, like, okay. you know, not just the regular, you know, stuff that you would find, but um, special curated collections. Like, I don't know if any of you all watched. Uh, oh, what was that show? Um, uh, it was uh, the the show I think that had it was about uh, the series about the church family. Come on, Caddy, help me out. Uh, Greenwood, Green, Green, uh, Green is it, Green something. But anyway, yeah. the, the the father Greenleaf, in Greenleaf, Greenleaf uh, Pastor Greenleaf always has some fly glasses on. So if you if you if you watch that, if you think about that, you know it's just it's it's not regular stuff. So if you're looking for regular stuff, you don't you don't want to check out these eyes of mine. And you can see the prices; they're not cheap. But these are, as she explains it on her website, they're like, you know, almost like art pieces. These are conversation pieces. If you're wearing these glasses, it's because not because you want to, you know, 
blend in, but because you want to stand out. So uh, dope business. Like I said, if you're in the DMV, um, soon you'll be able to visual, uh, visit her directly. I think it says now on the website that she's uh, accepting uh, virtual and in-person appointments. Uh, so if you're looking for some dope eyewear, uh, consider and check out uh, Dr. June Mines and her eyewear uh, site, which is These Eyes of Mine. And it is just like it sounds, www.these, E-Y-E-S of Mines, M-I-N-E-S. Not because she's trying to be ebonically correct, but because Mines is her last name. Three things. So, yes, sir. One, one. so these are glasses that she picked out or these are black owned businesses? Uh, no, she is the black owned business that she curates That's from a right. number of okay. different places. I would imagine that some of the eyewear that just because of the style of it and so forth are are most likely um, uh, black designers of those particular glasses. But I'm, I can't say that all of them are. OK, number two, we already know that V's Kicks has three of these in cart. V's Kicks likes to wear different glasses, and I'm sure that she's picking through these. Uh, three, Caddy took off the jacket because it got big musty. No, I took off that jacket because it was tight as shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Wait, I even... Was that the wedding jacket? No, that wasn't the wedding jacket. That jacket oh, was from like 2015. My arms was like this, and I was like, I can't even raise my arms to relax. What kind of shit is this? Why do you still have it? Um, remember, I had lost weight, so but why was, do you still have I was, it? I was close to fitting it again, but you know, when when the when the whole uh quarantine kicked in, you know, I found out there was a Sonics down the street. Okay, but look, okay, so wait, wait, that jacket came from when again? I believe it was either 2000, no, 2016. 2016. All right, all right. I thought, yeah, that's not too bad. Okay. I'll let, let you slide. I thought it was like 2006. I'm like, Caddy, let that shit look, go. Look, I'm sick. I had alligator arms. Nah, bro. That was alligator. That was T Rex. <laughs> I was out here. Like, <laughs> I couldn't even pick up my phone. I was like, <laughs> what was old boy's name from um, Saturday Night Live? Fat guy in a little. <laughs> <coat. Yeah. laughs> <laughs> that's my shit. Uh oh. And that's who you was looking for when I see GTC Reels is up in this thing. What's going on, what big up? dog? What up? And then I see Shadrika up in here. How you how you doing, Shadrika? How you doing, Shadrika? Just had to let her know. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, please move back. Move back. No, no crowds. No crowds. I'm, I'm so move. mad this nigga brought a soundboard with his steamy. I mean, and he got it popping today, too. He didn't buy it, you know, because I watch a lot of these shows and they buy shit and then they try it live on the show. OG been practicing. OG been in the lab practicing because he got the buttons down. Bye, yeah. Bye, yeah. He's been recording shit. <laughs> look, look, Cutie Queen said uh, Caddy had canary pits under that jacket. Oh, no, never that. That's OG. That ain't <laughs> <me. laughs> So that, that jacket was a Euro fit. Euro hmm. fit, blazer. yes, that, that was definitely the Manu Ginobili jacket. Yes, <laughs> so we got into our we did a black business. Let's get into our hump day heat. We're gonna start this one off with OG. He got the soundboard, so let's go ahead and let him flex first. OG, what did you wear, Mr. I don't need your stimmy <laughs> for the season of blackness? More blackness for you, those mm. 17 plus uh bulls. Retro Bulls was on feet today. <laughs> this might have been. Go ahead, go ahead. I know just that that was it, you know. And I I love this shoe, but when I put it on, I realized well, I don't wear it that often. Yeah, that's but that was one of those. Remember when it so when they re-released it, it was like 250 or something, right? Without yep. the suitcase, because niggas was mad. And then they went to the outlets and they was like a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. And then they went right back up to start StockX and it was like 350. And I was like, what the fuck happened? I remember it because we talked about the shit on the show. It was like, what happened? What happened? But OG got in early. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Mr. Stimulus. Yes. Kilo Caddy. I might I might have to change my, my IG data that to Kilo Caddy. <laughs> yeah. I think right now it's Caddy Levert. It was fourth quarter Caddy, and then it was Caddy Levert. <laughs> Kilo Caddy sounds nice. And you know what I'm saying? We might have to go ahead and check on him. Uh, y'all know Jimmy Jackson, but do you know Stimmy Jackson? Um, mm. What did you mm. have on today, sir? Uh, today, pine green Sakai waffles. Mm. Look at them. Look at them. Man. The Sakai's. 
I see. I see they getting their wears. Caddy was trying to wear. He was trying to find a shirt that had all the colors. I said, Caddy, don't do that. I'm not doing that shit. Mm-hmm. They don't have to have every color. It, not every. Just, you know, put, you're put not, on the you're goddamn. You're not about to have me out here look like a big-ass kaleidoscope. That's not happening. <laughs> Just put on the fishnet pink jersey and go hey, outside. Yo. <laughs> wow. Just put on the fishnet hey, pink yo. jersey and go ahead outside. Like Morris Day. I'm saying Jamaica, Jamaica, yeah. Jamaica. Wait, are you trying to break out black lavender? <laughs> <laughs> you got to get this money. I mean, it's stimulus time. <laughs> it's stimulus time. The only uh, hands will be popping. <laughs> Today, I had on them varsity things. Muppet feet on deck. Second wear. Mm. Love these bad boys. Mm. Still fresh. I don't really like rocking Muppet feet often, but I do when I can. And uh, they sixes, so sixes are, are quickly moving. As long as it's a solid silhouette, I'm good. I mean, a solid colorway, I'm good. The solid what, colorway. With the what colorway is that, sir? Uh, this ain't this the varsity. This is the God damn it, Caddy. You about to make me walk yeah, right no, into it. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. no, no. Go ahead. What is this, that? This the is the varsity. The varsity, the varsity, varsity red. The varsity, varsity red, big blood. The varsity. The varsity red, big blood. That's what you say. I wear white shoes for every home day. Mm-hmm. White shoes only. All white shoes. I, I'm not fucking with you today. <laughs> Big blood. God damn it. Uh, you did it to yourself. Just, just let me live, can you? Damn. Damn. Um, so let's get into... <laughs> Hop dog, let them know. So let's get into... Uh, Shut up, Dre Day Kicks. You had on red too. <laughs> now put that back up there, OG. Fuck what's that, that shit. What's that y'all claim? <laughs> Dre Day Kicks... Had on fucking red and white J's, some goddamn red giant pants, and he come on here talking about me. You would do this to me, you disloyal <laughs> motherfucker. Cause y'all both blood. I'm is not. I'm as a Christian. You I'm is not. Christian you boy. is not. I am a good Christian boy. You is not. Regular Mike, shut up. I you, am a good you. You would go down straight to hell just because it's your favorite color. No, I it. would not. Yeah, I went to a Lutheran school from kindergarten through twelve. I am a good Christian boy. This nigga got a whole fucking gotta, soundboard. Gotta, I cannot unplug. believe this shit. We gotta unplug yeah. this nigga. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, if we I could mute, unplug. if I could mute this nigga right there, <laughs> we gotta unplug this nigga, bro. Yeah. <laughs> we got a whole fucking soundboard with Kojic sounds on it. What's the fuck this, is going on? This nigga got a goddamn xylophone and shit. There it is. Uh, I'll be here all week. If y'all don't get Hezekiah Walker off this microphone, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's keep him busy. Uh, OG, what was your pickups this week? All right. So one was a, uh, let me just get to him. I was just going to say one of them is kind of controversial. So I'll do that one first. It's not really controversial. But maybe Uh-oh. it's controversial. I don't know. Okay. Hold on. Let me get this in space. Keep it on the screen. Mr. HD323, what's going on, fam? I want y'all to, OG, put yourself on the summer jam. Don't be like this. Don't be like this. He got the soundboard and they use none of the sound effects. All right. All right. For the people I, know this in the, what, I know this is what Caddy wants to really give it. Jesus Christ. We got prices right horns. I can't uh, believe this shit. For the people that are driving home from their side chick house, maybe picking up your STEMI, maybe breaking up with the chick that you was waiting for with the STEMI, OG Kicks, what shoe do you have on screen right now? Uh, it is the Lake Show D1Y or DIY from somewhere in America, aka Sire. So, looking at these, KB Fresh Kick said, What is that? That is the Do Ones Yourself by Sire Collective. Um, what do you think, OG? Let them know about the process, break it down for them. Let's get a proper, proper because you don't do videos no more. Shots fired! Shots fired! Videos on the way. Oh, I, sure. I have to. I have to. All right, all right, all right. But go Let's ahead. Ask, ask, me, ask me whatever question. So when did you buy them? How long was the wait? And what do you think of the shoe now that you got them in hand? December. I want to say early December. Early, mid-December. Okay. They came on Monday. Okay, so a little wait. You got three months? Yeah. Three um, when? Four if months, I, call it four months. If I remember correctly, it was a pre-order. So that's based on 
uh, what it, the time that it took to get the fuck racism is that's about, <laughs> and that's P H U C K. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I was just I was he ain't breaking brand. He, he, yeah, he didn't break break his brand on that one. I, 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 I didn't name it. That's what it's called. Um, I, when I saw this, I just really liked the colorway. I really, you know, you know, I got purple. I, I'm on like I'm on a liquor train now. So, um, the quality of the shoe is is I mean the the leather is is it is um what am I trying to say premium leather. Um. Okay. Obviously, it looks like what you think it looks like, or it's patterned kind of after. My understanding of the story is that uh, there was, I don't know what season, Caddy, you would know, uh, Jordan had to wear an ankle brace. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is supposed to be, that's what this part of the shoe is, that, that's it, ankle, the actual simulate the ankle brace that he had to wear when he was wearing an ankle brace. Of 86. Yeah, it literally has an ankle brace that comes with it. Um, but I'm already going to cut the shoe up because this is coming off. I, so I, you're I, this, cutting that completely off. The the story is dope, but I just feel like that being gone, the shoe is going to look better for me on this particular colorway. So I've for what it. you paid, what do you think? I I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I mean, I've spent more for less of a shoe. If I'm just keeping it 100, mm -hmm. we talk about you know reaching back for resale for something. If you talk about quality of materials, you know the upper undeniably is great leather. It's the type of leather you probably want on every leather shoe you had that wasn't tumbled. Um, some of the structure in terms of like, you know, the bottom and the firmness of this is not like what you would expect on um, other shoes that are similar to this. Um, A Jordan 1. But it's well done. Uh, and I put it on. It's comfortable. Um, it, it's got a bunch of differences uh, and I'll point them out in the video. But yeah, I'm, I'm good with it. I, this one, I had no issues, no issues with the weight, no issues with anything um, associated with the process. Now, there's one part you're not showing the people the the tongue. Show oh, them yeah. the tongue. All right, there you go. Yeah. yeah. So, so, there we go. go. Um, double tongue. Um, but technically, it's not a full, like, it's not two tongues from all the way down here. It's kind of stitched in right here. But I kind of... Actually, I think that's kind of dope. I have the shoe laced up too far, but um, when I was a kid, when I used to wear my chucks, sometimes I would fold the tongue down over the top of the lace, kind of mm. like that. And um, I know it's kind of washed out because it's not close enough to the camera. Um, but yeah, if, if I had that lace a little bit lower, um, it'd kind of hang down like that. And I, I think that could be a kind of dope look with some, you know, with some jeans in the summertime. Um, so yeah, definitely gonna, gonna rock it. But yeah, that that's going. So I'm I'm looking at the chat. Q to Queen said they refuse to let you escape. <laughs> she's talking about have, me. We can have a conversation. What, what is it to it? What is it? To, she's she's talking about about happy. Me. I'm really actually trying not to not to be anywhere but just straight down the middle. But I mean, right. you know, pop off your question. No, so she was she was talking to me because of and probably you, I guess, in in it. Not directly because mm -hmm. of our love hate relationship with the brand mm -hmm. is what you know what she's talking about. They refuse to let you escape, and you know it, it is what it is. I'm sure we'll get in there at some point. Or Kid Queen talks to me regularly anyway, so she know what it is. Um, uh, Dre Dre Kick said, "OG don't sound too happy." No, <laughs> I, 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 so it's not like I didn't buy the shoe. Like um, when I bought the shoes that I bought from uh, from Saya. It was really on, it's a black man out there doing his thing, and it was different. And if y'all have been following me at all, you know that I gravitate towards different. And my different sometimes is like, I'm the only person in the room that's digging what that is. Um, and when I saw something, when I first saw that shoe, I was like, yo, that's crazy. Um, it was before the kind of, the things that started to make me conflicted about, mm -hmm. um, you know what was going on um and i you know I, i've had this uh, conversation off off mic with the fellas you know i stay conflicted about it because i don't i'm not any 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 um like criticism that i would have it's not hate it's just like i guess trying to be honest about you know what i feel or what i heard and how or what i saw and how it made me feel 
Mm -hmm. You know, it ain't saying that, you know, you got to change being who you are. You know, I'm sure I know not. I'm sure I know that there's things that I say on the show or do my fellas be like, uh, but they know that's just me being me. They may not necessarily have said it or, you know, wanted it necessarily come out of my mouth. But, you know, I'm just being authentically me. Uh, but so, no, it's not. I guess, I'm like I said, if you hear anything in my voice, it's more me just trying to keep it straight down the straight down the middle and not be extra extra one one way or the other and, and let's let's stall him out he got a whole video coming you know what i'm saying he got to uh -huh. he got to keep some of the cards close to his chest he got a whole video coming um if you could pan back a little bit og so we can get caddy on here because caddy was making noises caddy caddy feels the kind of way what, what you got to say caddy come on bro oh sh shout out for black businesses that's all you got Shout out for black businesses. <laughs> so, we don't we don't ran long. We're gonna go ahead and get our pickups and then we're gonna get some of these topics. So uh, OG, like, what you about to say? No, I was just gonna say I wasn't gonna put it in there because I got other pair that I didn't when I got it. I never I shared it with y'all, but I never showed it. Um partially because like Beard mentioned, I'm trying to figure out like how I'm approach it. This is kind of like hitting me kind of like the Black History Month stuff did, you know. Kind of when I really, really, when I was sending the emails and everything, and I, you know, it's it's, it's kind of that that type of uh that type of situation. So yeah, I don't, you know, I don't want to spend. I mean, I'm if we want to have a conversation, I'm open for the conversation. I'm definitely, you know, if there's if it's questions in the chat, you know, hey, far away. But that was well, it. I mean, so that's not on the docket, but I think it's dope. I mean, it's but it's the blackest show ever, right? So. Chat, if y'all got anything, we're gonna go through our other pickups. But if y'all got questions, OG's here to answer them and he got a video coming. So there's that. Um, I think overall the chat was kind of like, yeah, chat was kind of lukewarm on him. Um, some people don't know what it is, some people's like, yeah. And, I mean, I think I it's because it looks like a one, right. you know, people feel some kind of way. Uh um, right. you because know, there's a bunch of different you got the cool guys and you have all those things. It's like, you know, don't give me the substitute, just give me the shit that I want. Right. But for me, it wasn't a substitute. It was like a different, you know, kind of way to look. It's a, it's a slightly higher cut, you know, has, you know, different, you know, adornments. You know, you got the little, uh, I forget what you call that little stitch on the back, but like the little pillow stitch. Quilted. On the back. Cool. Quilted, thank you. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's just like, it's, it's like, to me, it's like, I'm not going to say it's making a better mousetrap. It's reimagining re a mousetrap. It's, it's what you know. It's yeah. just, you know. He trying to put his sauce on it. I got you. You got any other pickups this week? I have one more. Go I for it. Go for it. Put the picture up today. Um, I, I couldn't get these. I could not secure these uh, for retail. Um, and as I was looking today, I'm actually kind of mad because I caught these as they were going down, but I didn't. I didn't wait until they went down as lower because uh, they're even lower than how I picked them up. But um, I, I posted up picture today uh i called them the um the fozzy bear dunks shout out to hop because he was the one that kind of pointed that out I'm talking about the nappy suede uh i like what, what is that by the way for the people who's still in the car uh it is the um what is this dark uh curry uh dunk highs okay uh but for me they're just going to be the fozzy bear dunks because that's what that's, i think. that's well played actually it does remind me of fozzy bear yeah very uh, um very very dope dunk and y'all know how i feel about uh uh fall colors so yes it's my juice uh don turner welcome to the party bro appreciate you coming through your shirt is also in the mail um let's see kb fresh case picks up the university one kb uh, of course i was uh, the all-star dunks Dark of uh georgetown threes of course like kb i wait wait anyway can, wait, 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 what? Q, what? Why? I came by from StarCast. I think she's mad about the breach and the way that they treated people um, with kind of blatant disregard when their accounts got hacked and shit. They just kind of was like, oh, well, I think that might be what she's going for. Uh, Sean B, no, go for it. Talk about it if you want to talk. We didn't really have a side discussion, uh, but we cool to have a discussion. OG said he's open for questions. Uh, we didn't really have a discussion. He just kind of dropped them off and he, he's waiting for y'all. He's like, I'm here for it, and we're here for it. We can have the conversation. I have size. Look, we we have size shoes here. Um, 
So we can have the conversation. We just haven't. <laughs> we, we just haven't. Um, so if y'all got questions, that's not on the docket, but it can be. Man, Caddy, can uh, I send you an air freshener, bro? Why? <laughs> so, Kilo Caddy, what did you pick up? Um, so I picked up this week the Reebok Omnizone. Mm. That leather looks real soft. It is. That looks real soft. And I was actually able to pick these up for retail. Shout out to Hop. He sent me the link for this store, and they had a pair of my size. That was a clean. That was a clean. Did you put them on and, and pump them up in the whole nine? Ah, still DS. Just still waiting. DS. Okay. Okay. So that's that your only pickup? That's my only pickup for this week. The other pickup is the haircut because I see you. <laughs> I yeah, see I, you, I, I, did, I, I did get a little fresh one. Mm, I see you, Billy Ocean. Thank uh, you. My pickup, actually, I have to return. Um, these are the Jordan MA2s. Um, mm. I like to shoot from the moment I saw it. I like this colorway, but this is a 13 and it is huge. Wow. So I have to at least get a 12 maybe an 11 and a half in this. Like I'm used to, again, I'm a true 12 and a half. So I'm used to having some, some room at the end, but my toe was back in this bitch. Like I was like, I can't do that. I So um, as far as the width, because somebody said they look narrow, they're actually not bad. And I don't know that the 12 is going to fit right um, because these the width was almost perfect, but they were just too goddamn long. And I, I don't wear, especially because this is a, a nylon or a rip stop or something. Um, your, your toe, your, your toe, the ball, you step on your ball of your foot, your, your toe be sticking out. So, but the shoe, the colorway, <laughs> look, <laughs> can't even count that. The shoe, the colorway, this is just so fucking clean. It's a clean ass shoe. So I'm yeah. on board with getting a That's lot cool. of these. I'm getting a lot of these motherfuckers in the colorways. Even if they got, you know, they got that UCLA colorway coming out that I don't really wear that color combination often, but I'm going to get them because I think when you throw them on, it's just something different. So this is actually... If they rock these out, this is a dope shoe. This is a dope shoe, but they got to go back because they're just too goddamn big, and they don't have any more left. So I'm either gonna have to hit StockX or go to some shit like that, or just go for a different colorway. What um, what kind of shoe is that supposed to be? Is it supposed to be a basketball shoe? Is it? It's a, a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle brand. So it's the whole silhouette is from the Jordan. I think they call it the Jordan 200. Um, yeah. and they had different colorways, but it wasn't like that. This they kind of turned it up a notch. Um, I think the air bubble is a little bit bigger on this one, and I think the outsole is a little bit different. Um, and of course, the side panels not, of course, the side panels are different on this version than the other one. But other than that, the shoe is dope. And this is this is actually it, Re regular Mike. You said that 100. Yes, this is a gum sole DT. Um, regular Mike said they MJ finally got the dad shoe right, and that's exactly what the fuck this is. It ain't swaggy or no shit, at least not in my opinion. But this motherfucker is comfortable, and um, I think it's a good look. So I'll be looking for him. Mm. I'll be looking for him. Um, shirt just left. Hey, that's what's up, Paychex Double X. Since shirt just left, awesome. That's good shit. So they actually working today. They was working when I was in there, but I don't know that they working. Cause you know, last time we did some shirts, uh, they scanned all them motherfuckers as delivered, <laughs> and I was like, bro, that's not possible. I just mailed them today. Um, and I agree with you, Sean B. I'm, I'm interested to see what these other colorways look like. So I don't know, but I do like that shoe. I do like that shoe a lot. But that's my pickup. It's got to go back. If we go back, if we were talking about the um, Sire Runs, um, Sean B said, y'all know my thing. It took it took me six months to get some shoe strings. I, I hear you. I hear you. I, I like, there's nothing. If, if y'all been rocking with this show long enough, there's nothing that can be said to me about the brand that I don't already know or haven't already said. There's zero. Because I've, I've been on it from, from VV1 before the VV1 when he was customized and I didn't have anything, but I was able to purchase his shoe cleaner and I was purchasing other shit. But I didn't, you know, once the VV1s dropped, I was in. So I get it. I get the frustration. And like I was talking to my homegirl about this earlier who um, th this is like the the never-ending struggle with supporting black business and, and rocking black shit is that 
when it doesn't go the way you're used to business going, it fucking hurts. It fucking hurts and it pisses you off because you expect, like it, it's it's a double edged sword. This is this is my opinion. I said sword on purpose because as a person buying from a black business, you feel like they're going to give you extra care and extra consideration because they're black like you. And that's why you're quicker to give the money over. That's why you quicker to have a conversation. That's why you feel the way you feel immediately when you hit that purchase. But then it feels like as a black business person, they're like, okay, they're black like me. So they're going to give me a little more leeway. So I'm going to fuck it off a little bit. That's what it feels like. I, I, I've seen too many businesses and I can't expect every black business to run like I run my business, but I've seen too many businesses use COVID as an excuse. Um, no returns, no refunds because they don't have the capital. Um, shipping delays, business delays, bad customer service, and, and it hurts all the same. JC Kicks, talk about it. I, but I, I ain't got no free merch. But... Um, <laughs> it, it 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 gets annoying, and it, it's hurtful when black businesses let you down. If you black, and that's I think that's that's really for me that's my biggest struggle because like OG said, you want to support black business, and, and I'm one of those people that I would be, I wouldn't be happy, but I would be okay going bankrupt trying to support black business and getting taken, than trying to support other people get taken. Because I gave you my best effort. And if I get fucked, I get fucked. I missed a comment, OG, my bad. If I get fucked, then I get fucked. Sean B said, my fight with Saya is, if you got pre-orders, then cool. But how are you going to drop 12 other colorways that get shipped to folks the next day between now and then? So, Sean B, that's, as, as I can't speak for Saya, right? But I can speak as somebody who creates. I have some designs that are set for a later release that are already made because I know what kind of numbers they're going to do. So I know that this is like the black lift, the black lift heavy shit. When I do the blackout shit, I already know that's going to do well. So before I put that up for sale, like I did the talking kick shit, I'm going to have those made. I'm going to have a good amount of those made so that when they go up, I can just ship them and get them the fuck out the door. Then when I do, I, I don't want to put my business out there. But then when I do a different release for Lift Heavy, I'm not quite sure. So that might be a pre-order and it might take me longer to produce it because I'm gauging that interest. So for you, it might look like you releasing all this other shit, but this one's still on the background. That's because I'm making this one as the orders came in. This other one's already made, right? So if I release the other one that's a pre-order and it takes another four or five weeks and then I come out the following week and say, here's that new hotness and it's shipping, it's because I had it set up that way. It's because that's how I had it. That's how I got it moving. You know what I mean? Um, but I also don't try to do pre-orders like that often because I don't like catch up. I don't, I don't like opening my store and seeing orders need to be fulfilled. That drives me crazy. Doesn't drive everybody crazy. It drives me crazy. So I rather have inventory. And I know that's bad, right? Because I'm looking right now, I'm looking at inventory that hasn't moved. I'm looking at a lot of inventory that hasn't moved. I haven't marketed it right. Um, it wasn't a good sale. Whatever. There's inventory sitting here that's taking up space, right? Um, but I would rather have the inventory here for the person to come through and buy, that as opposed to taking pre-orders and running shit out. I, I, you know, I ain't, I ain't doing super fresh numbers. Super fresh does strictly come and get it, and he sells out of everything. He doesn't have inventory. He's got a warehouse, but he don't have inventory. You know what I'm saying? All that shit that's in there, is shit that's gonna sell. And that's beautiful. That's how he runs his business. Some people are pre-orders only. I can't rock it, but it works for them. Me, I'd rather have the shit so I can fulfill my orders. But I feel you, Sean B. Trust me, I feel you. All these niggas I talk to, Caddy, uh, OG, G4, Q the Queen, they know how the fuck I feel about this shit. They done got it. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been, uh, they not in here right now, soulmates. I've been big fussy. <laughs> I've been, especially about this i've been big fussy no shit but um you know i i get it that's that's not authentic um 
Oh, did she come in here? My bad. Boosie's in the building, no G. Um, how you doing today, baby? This nigga. Well, uh, welcome to Talking Kids, Lucy, baby. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm having so much fun. I don't care. Why did we let this nigga buy a soundboard? <laughs> I, don't I don't know. I got to call Donald Trump. I know he ain't the president no more, but he got to be able to reach out. He got to be able to talk to somebody. Call call uh, OG's wife and say that he's downstairs doing crack. Like, get him off the soundboard. This nigga has lost his mind. Uh, feel free while you're in the show to like the show for OG Soundboy. I would appreciate it. Let's see. Let me watch the soundboard. We got 27 people watching, only 23 likes. One of those is my fault. So now we have 24 likes. OG, did you like the show yet? You don't have to do it afterwards because when I'm going through Oh, because you produced the show. Have the, yeah, I don't have this. Hey, we got 27. I appreciate that, y'all. 27. For the people that just came in late, as we get into our few topics, because we don't ran long, but we fucking with y'all. So um, people that came in late, I believe this shirt is spoken for. I have to talk to Dre Day. This is a blim. This is a B grade. We got the the talking kicks is on this bitch upside down, but the shirt is the same quality in the whole nine. I believe that this is spoken for, um, and I have the capacity to make a couple more shirts if need to. Just just hit me up. I don't have any more TK shirts. I got one more, and that may be spoken for as well. Um, so is that have it. a new name in there, or just I don't? Well, you see, Rubik's fifteen. Rubik's fifteen been in here before. What's going on, family? What's up, Rubik's? Good. Yeah, what's good? I see um, Chase and Jays. That looks like a first a first timer. So Chase and Jays, welcome to the show. We appreciate okay, you. Hit that, like Hit that sub if you like what you see tonight. Check back some other shows. And you know, if you don't, you just want to come through and not sub. That's cool too. We fucks with you. Hit us up on the Instagrams and the whole night because we fuck with our people. Yeah, um, I forgot about the shirt. And I forgot to get my order in. Sean B. Sean B. I'm saying. He said he wants the upside down logo. I think, t- I think I think Dre Day, I think Dre Day, I think Dre Day called that one. It's extra Fight large. to the death. Fight to the death. It's extra large. We'll talk about it in, in, in DM me. He's okay. Uh, Dre so, Day, look. so is it possible to open the window for five minutes and then shut it down? And throw four hamburgers out? I, I legit promise to buy five hamburgers. I legit only have one more TK logo left to print. I got one. Okay. I got one. I got the Joe. If you want the Joe shirt, I could probably get a couple of those. But the the TK shirt, I got, the Joe shirt. I got. I got one more. So that's that is what it is. Uh, Dre that kicks told me he said, "Put my shirt down, player." So I, <laughs> hey, yo, well, the shirt, there you, there, the shirt is, he said, "Put my shirt down, player." So that's that's the that's the check it. That's hey, put my shirt down. I I don't want no smoke. So that one is spoken for. Uh, there is one more shirt. I can't do actually. I need two X. Uh, make me one with the logo sideways. <laughs> shut me, shut up. Uh, so holler at me in the DMs. Like I said, y- y'all know what I got. And if you're not sure, just check with me and I'll see what I can do. Uh, but I don't have any more TK shirts. And if I put in another order, put it this way, OG. Let me put it this way. To do another run of the TK shirts, that's I would I need mean. at least I would need at least 10 people. That's what that's what I was asking what the number was. So yeah. there it is, y'all. If y'all if if y'all want to help out the people that missed, maybe those of you who only got a single and you wanted to double up, you know. I would need at least another 10 of the TK logos. And that's because y'all saw me. If y'all look at the, the uh talking kick story, y'all saw me pressing the motherfuckers. I don't have unlimited presses of those. The ones that I had are used except for one. And I do have more of the G.I. Joe logo just because that one wasn't a hot seller. Y'all wanted the TK shirt, which is fine. Um, so there's more Joes left. The TK is done. TK's is one left. Um, and if you want that, holler at me and I can get that out. But I think Caddy got dibs on that one. I think Caddy got dibs on that one. Um, so, yeah, at some point we're going to get to the fucking list, right? Because it's 830 <laughs> Central Time and we have not even gotten into our list. Wait, wait, uh, I'm trying to make you this money though. So, like, if you get T10 DMs for certified orders, can it happen? It, it'll happen. 
Okay. It'll happen. So there it I is. See. I just wanted to put it out there, you know. No, that's legit. Not John Turner is saying, can we get an updated re an updated reprint of the original? Explain what you mean. Explain what you mean, Don Turner. Updated oh reprint. The original Talking Kicks gym shirt? The Talking Kicks? Yeah. But like an uh, updated reprint? Why? Did, uh, uh, what would be the update? That's what I'm asking. Like, what do you mean update? Need, I, need, um, I, I need to know. I thought the, uh, the OG one was just the black one with the white block letters, wasn't that first? Yeah, the the yeah. gym shirt. That's yeah. that's what he said. That's what he's called the gym shirt because yeah. it's the gym design yeah. property. Um, the upside down logo going to be outside. Hey, Sean, man, you know what I'm saying? I might have to do that, but Dre, that kid's gonna shoot me. Yeah, you know, I can't, I, that might not be a bad idea. Yeah, uh, you know it is what it is. Oh, so Don Turner saying, okay, y'all got us with the talking kick shirts. That was cool. But can we get one on that, that new material? Everybody wants the lift heavy soft fabric. Uh, can we get one on the updated soft fabric? Um, none of us have one actually on that fabric, so that might be due. Um, it's the same thing. I don't have those, so to get those, I need ten. It, it, it's ten is the number. If I can get at least ten, I can make it make sense. Magic That's not making me rich. That's just making me Put it this way: if for for ten shirts, right? Because I might have to order the shirt. Ten for the material, I would probably break even. What y'all pay me, I would probably break even for the hustle. And I'm fine with breaking even. The people rocking with the with the show. Um, the original TK hoodie just wore mine last week. JC kicks, man. People slept on the hoodies. They all wanted the hoodies after the hoodies was gone. That's a fact. So what we're not gonna do is is drop this in the chat. Hit the DM. That's it. I can handle it. You want to hit? You want to hit yours or to hit the lift, lift heavy DM or what? Nah, hit the beard Jedi. Hit, hit the beard Jedi. Hit, hit the beard Jedi with with what you want. You want one? You want two? You know, what you need? And then we will figure out if if he gets to ten, then he can let everybody know. It's that simple. It's that simple. And and, when, and I see Don Turner. He said you need nine because I'm in. When I when I when I say ten in, I'm gonna be looking for money because I got to order. This is this is a pre order where y'all paying for the motherfucking pre order. This ain't this ain't a pre order where I'm using my money and it comes up. No, this is y'all paying for the fucking order. So <laughs> money <laughs> the money got to come through for me to order this shit. I'm being very upfront with that shit. You give me the money, the money goes right to the people so I can order this shit. You, and you then I was. I you, was see slave them, you see them ATL resellers is mad at you. Why? Why? We're going to talk about that. That's one of the topics that we got to make sure we get through on this list. Um, am I doing the upside down logo? No, that was a mistake. Don't do this to me. It was a mistake. Uh, <laughs> 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 Can I get the TK logo inside out? I, I just need that. <laughs> 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 Regular Mike ain't shit. Streets want upside down logos too, bro. That nigga shot me. I want the up uh, the updated down logo. He means the upside down logo too. Yeah, y'all ain't look, shit. Can look at the bottom of the shirt and be like, <laughs> <laughs> so you can read it just yeah. like, oh no, shit. Really, okay, so y'all y'all get in my bag a little bit. That is gonna be on the lift heavy thing. I will have the size on the bottom of the shirt because why is the size on the inside on the back? That only works when you're picking the shirt out and putting it on. But if you in, if you out and somebody asks you what size shirt it is, you're talking too much. I'm, I'm sorry. All right. Oh, uh, so yeah. I saw something in here I need to get to. I need that blackout TK. I missed out. Turf fan 34. Where the fuck you been, man? What up, Turf? He was where you been, Turf? Turf? He, he been Dang. laying good. What up, Turf? Damn, we ain't seen Turpin this motherfucker in a minute. I'm saying, bro. Welcome to season 12. We got soundboards and shit. OG, hit him with a sound. Hit him with a sound. <laughs> Yo, you know what makes me mad about Turpin? What's that? He's repping Maryland, but he don't live here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. 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 Yo, don't get this nigga, man. Come get this nigga. Y'all see this is I, I blame the mighty mighty kick talkers for this bullshit. Y'all niggas let this nigga get a fucking stem wow. fucking soundboard. What the uh welcome, welcome you back to me on the like soundboard, you know. Select the I mean, and come in, book, 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 and come in. 
Oh God! We, we ain't seen Turf fan a uh, Turf fan since the last time you was here. We got a new shirt. Caddy, show him your shirt. He ain't seen that one because Turf ain't been around. Turf ain't been around. You know what I'm saying? Turf, since the last time you was here, I got a whole backdrop, nigga. You know what I'm saying? We got all kinds of shit around here. You know what I'm saying? Welcome back to the show, Turf fan. Damn. Damn. Now we fuck. This is this is why we fuck with y'all because we notice when motherfuckers ain't here, and we notice when y'all come back. We fuck with y'all, real talk. So yeah, OG over there like Paul shape. <laughs> <laughs> <Fuck him. laughs> that Turner from way down town Bay. Yeah. That is yeah. an old nigga reference right there. Yeah. This nigga That's run up a old Dave nigga let him in that. <laughs> <laughs> that is an old nigga reference right there. Shouts out to that. Uh, so let's get into this fucking list. Can we please Yo, get to the list? Sean B. <laughs> Yo, <coughs> what we doing? What we doing? I want my logo in leather. Jesus Christ, Sean B. Stop me out, man. Stop me out. Do you know what that pre order is going to cost? Nigga, I want a mink TK logo. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that so you, can, Fuck so you can do the video and laugh, get in the car. <laughs> I just, I just need a mink TK logo so I can do I can get back on my videos and be like ah, ha ha y'all niggas is yeah. y'all niggas is stupid Stimmy Fallon stall us stall us out Stimmy Fallon all right look so let's let's we we're talking about exotic leathers it's a perfect segue caddy I appreciate you uh coming to America talk coming the number two America why are we talking about that this is a sneaker show fuck y'all okay coming to America is my favorite movie of all time uh-huh. this is the blackest season of our show ever and we talking about coming to america if you don't like it don't let the door hit you on your way out if you do like it stay and talk to us talk to us come on we welcome you we welcome you (laughs) so coming to america happened um og hit us off with your thoughts because you're gonna give us the the real thoughts and then me and caddy are probably gonna say some bullshit Nah, I want to hear Caddy tell you the bullshit first. Mm. I'm, 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 no, no, I want to hear your thoughts first. Come on, nigga. <laughs> okay. We had this chat on the phone, I'm and I'm gonna just you said, I don't know. I want all the instruction. I, I, I said it, I, I said Blessing. it in I said Blessing. it in comments. I feel like it was a worthy <clears throat> sequel. I laughed from the first 10 minutes. There was a certain scene within the first 10 minutes of the movie. I laughed for five minutes after it was over. So much that my wife hit me in the head with a pillow because she was like, can you stop laughing because I can't hear the movie? Um, yeah. I I, I didn't even think like about the things that weren't there, like you know the sister that wasn't there and the fact that they didn't have the soul glow guy and all of that. Um, I don't think that there's any like uh scenario that they could come up with to to think about that would have been like oh wow that was i really never thought that so the fact that it was like really trite you know he has a son um i I mean that's Mm. maybe some people might say that i don't i'm not saying that but i i think i've heard people say that ah that wasn't you know that wasn't wasn't creative maybe that's what i should have said better Mm, no trite was fine (laughs) <laughs> you're right, you're right. That wasn't the thing. Right. Thank you. Right. you. I got it out of the jacket. Um, I, 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 I messed with it. Um, from from beginning to end, I love uh, um, the character uh, Wesley Snipes and his sister. Uh, hey, I'm I'm here for all of that. Uh, yeah, this was this had me dead. Okay. All right. Now, first of all, I, I, as a a a, a coming to America, uh, PhD. Yes. Okay. When she left the room, she was not barking like a dog. She nope. was making a noise like an orangutan. Yep. And it Ooh. pissed me off Ooh. the moment Ooh. I saw Ooh. it. Yep. It pissed me off because I was like, you go if the joke is gonna have continuity, give me the fucking continuity. Yeah. See, to to me, that's like the nitpick. The joke was just simply that whatever she was doing, whatever sound she was making, that she, that's not the sound she, she was like, making. See, I, that wasn't. I, I, I'm telling you, this. I, I, I'm not saying you can feel however you want to feel about it. <laughs> when they, when she came out and she now was I'll break that soundboard. I got it. <laughs> I, was, I, I was like, yo. But don't you ever, 
OG, isn't there a moment when you see something, especially like when you see a movie being or, or a remake, when you see something being brought to life and they get something wrong that they were trying to get right, doesn't it annoy you? Th that didn't annoy me. I'm telling you until you mention it now, I didn't even think about it. Okay. I, I didn't. It wasn't, it didn't rise to the level of, oh, well, she wasn't doing that. She was doing this. I, no, it was that she was doing something that it, she got told. It didn't. So, so let me be clear. It didn't. It didn't make me think the movie was less. It just annoyed me because when I, when I, as I think I have a decent comedic mind, and when you try and link things as a comedic joke, it needs to fucking link. Like that's why the shit works. So when you got the part wrong, I was like, ah, damn, y'all could have like, got it right. Listen, it pissed me off, but I was bark, like, it's still good. Bark like a dog, a big dog. Had her hopping on one foot, orangutan, hopped out and the that's room, how it went. hopped out the room on one foot, orangutan. You put and me when doing she that came for in, 30 years. And when she came in, what was she doing? Barking like a dog. I, and it, it was a miss. That That's the part that I'm talking it, about. That it wasn't a miss. It landed like fuck for me. So I, I can only speak for me. But I also, I've seen a trend. Like, people of you guys age feel a certain way about the movie and people like my age hey it's like i love it and see but that's that's where you're wrong i actually love that the movie I, that i've seen that i that yeah that, I, actually, that I've seen. I actually love the movie i thought it did a great job i thought it was you know of course for the nitpicking that would be samuel L. jackson could have been in the movie daryl right. could have been doing something Patrice should have been in the movie doing something. Th right. Those kind of things they could have paid attention to where uh, where his mom was because his mom was a huge part of the first movie. That's where that's mm -hmm. where Eddie got his Akeem got his fucking sensibilities from was his mom. Right. The fact that's that him and his dad got back together was his mom. So the fact that she wasn't even mentioned was a nitpicky thing. However, the movie I think they did a great job. I like the cameos. I like all the nods to the, the original movie. Um, I, I don't like how they tried to piece the story together, but I knew before the movie was even presented that the story was going to suck because you're doing a part two. The story of him having a random one-off and having a, a baby out there, that is loose as fuck to me. However, yeah. it's what you got to do to make the movie happen, so make it happen, right? Um Leslie did an amazing job. I thought she was underrated in the movie. She did a she fucking was, she because I'm pretty hilarious. sure her part when they gave her her part, they was like, Here, this is this is your role. You are gonna be the baby mama. We're gonna give you a couple moments, and then here you go. And she ran with that shit. Hey Better Queen. <laughs> <laughs> she ran with it. Um, the people I've seen have said that they feel like you know, even before the movie came out, they were talking about like how she was stealing the movie. Bro, she did a great job. Her she and Wes job. her and Wesley were hilarious. We need more Wesley in 2021 and going forward. When that nigga was in the room and did the hey. <laughs> nigga, let me tell you something. When they came in and doing the dance, Wesley said that they had the choreography, but he missed it. He missed the choreography, so he winged that shit. Nigga, those dances <laughs> were hilarious. I was like, Wesley is what? I was like, Sydney Dean is in the building. <laughs> we need Mo Wesley for the rest yeah. of our lives. I love Wesley. Um, Charles Covington, let me go back to that comment. OG put it up there as well. I think the bark like a doll joke was the funnier part of the shtick, and they wanted to recapture. It's also the most quoted part of the joke. <clears throat> I get it. Like, here's mm -hmm. the thing. I, I don't – I understand that I don't like it, right? It's kind of like, for me, if you're a wrestling fan, right, it's when they bring back the motherfucker off the couch and he automatically gets a WWE championship shot at WrestleMania. I understand you need to put asses in the seats. I understand what the draw is. I understand that part of the joke. However, as a comedic thinker who watches motherfucking comedians get on stage and do sets for an hour, I I follow the shit. I can't help it. Right. So I immediately saw it. It wasn't I wasn't looking for the bullshit. I saw it. It's kind of like when I look at my background and it's crooked. I know it's crooked. Every time I fucking look, I just haven't fixed it. I literally see lines like that. It's the same way I see jokes and comedy. I see the shit like the Matrix. So I saw it, and it annoyed me because I saw it, but I definitely understand a larger part of that. I get it. Um, 
so yeah, I, I'm with all that. I think the movie was dope. I think the movie was dope. I think they did a great job with that shit. Caddy, go for it. Um, I thought the movie was good. I I wasn't expecting the movie to be exactly like coming to America. Right. So I already had, you know, I had that in my head, like, yo, it's not gonna be the same. It's not gonna be on that level, but it was good. Mm-hmm. You know, there were parts in there that made me laugh. Leslie Jones was hilarious, Wesley Snipes was hilarious. Um the kid that played Akeem's son, he was all right. He 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 was all right. Um, Tracy Morgan was had his funny parts. I, but, I got uh, yeah, look, but I'm, I'm over Tracy Morgan, bro. One thousand percent. I'm over Tracy Morgan has not been funny to me since since goddamn Hustle Man, and that's real. That's not even shade. I yeah, you talking about Uptown not, Comedy Club, Tracy Morgan. Bruh, you I am not. Please? That's it. Like from that, I. But go yeah. ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. We can talk about that, Tracy. Um, the Rick Ross cameo. Oh, little known fact. Did y'all know the Kingdom of the Moon, the 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 mansion, the castle, is Rick Ross' house? Rick Ross is maxing out. He just now has a platinum album. He he only has one platinum album out of all his albums. He has maxed out. His celebrity and his goddamn, he stretched his money. This shit is amazing to me. Bro, they let, he let them use the house for the movie. And they put up certain wallpapers in certain rooms, like um, the dining area where they had that big long table mm-hmm. was, was his dining area. And they let him keep the table as a gift. I was like, nigga. I think he got paid like $3 million for that shit or something. So, yeah. But, um, mm-hmm. The the movie to me, it was a good movie. It was like the movie to me was like an honor to come into America, the original. And it was um, we needed it. We needed yeah. the fucking movie. And they delivered. Right. Yeah. I even saw I saw some people complaining about the extra cameos, the Gladys Knights, and um, you know, saying the song. And I thought that was dope because if it's a king, you gonna come, you're gonna bring I'm bringing in uh LL to say I'm bad. To do an African version or a goddamn Zamunda version of I'm Bad. Bring it in. Change the lyrics for me. I'm the king. So, of course, Gladys Knight gonna come in here and say the shit that I need her to say. I'm the king. Sing the shit my way. I, I, I didn't mind that part, but the funeral part was a little weird to me. But I was, was just like, I was like, okay, I get it. It was hella cringy. Yeah, that part was, was cringy because, like, when James Earl Jones died, it was like, Nigga, is he really dead? They're like dead, dead. James Earl Jones was to Bell Atlantic dead. Like, remember when like, I was right? I would let you know when I was ready to go. I'm yeah. gone. Yeah, he was just like, I'm ready to die now. <laughs> like what? It was like, it was like, damn. Um, mm-hmm. and and OG, if you see anything in the chat, you want to pop up here would be dope. Question for my fellas and the chat: Is this a movie that you think you will rewatch again? Like, is this one of those movies that, that's going to be on replay? Yes. <laughs> Write that on the soundboard, OG. Make a note. We need the yeah. yes on the yeah. If you're going to have the, if you have the <laughs> fucking soundboard, add me along yes to the soundboard, nigga. No, I need, I need your yes because I'm mimicking you. <laughs> I need your yes. <laughs> I mean, literally, I'm just being 100 I right now. You. I got you. Okay, please send them. Caddy. You rewatching this? I'll probably rewatch it um, just to see if there's any parts that I didn't miss. Because you know, there's always certain parts that we watch on shows that we mm-hmm. remember, like l- little small parts, mm-hmm. like the Cosby Show, where we always do this. Remember, Bill or um, Cliff Huxtable is talking to Theo in the room about That's money. Why you get D's on yeah, they'd be like, "I ride a motorbike," like <laughs> stuff like that. So there might be a little stuff in the movie that you can, yeah. You know, I, I had actually one of those moments when we watched the movie because we, we watched both of them. So we watched the original and oh. then we watched the new one after it. Then you and definitely should have caught the orangutan party, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I did it anyway, because I was not looking for continuity of scene, my brother. But ahead, something that I missed in the first movie or just I didn't remember and when I heard it again it's Caddy's fault my son works I did but 
when I watched the first one this time, when I was like, oh, that's, uh, you know, I felt kind of dumb. There's always parts like that. Like, for example, when, when Randy Watson came back on the scene, the first thing when he said that boy good, the first thing I said in my mind was good and terrible. And I was mm -hmm. waiting for that. <laughs> and and I, was like, I was like, where is that? <laughs> But that's what they call OG. You you will know that this, this is what they call the deep cuts. What me and Caddy usually get from shows and shit like that, we get the deep cuts. Mm -hmm. We're always the nigga that get the after the joke, after the joke, after the joke. And we remember that shit like idiots. We're always the niggas that remember that shit. So the moment that he said that, I knew what he was saying because I'm the same fucking way. Yo, it's, I'm it's, the same way. It's weird shit. Like, like this is totally random. Fresh Prince of Bel Air, when they made, I think it was when they made Ashley mad, and they and Will had the doll. He had the puppet on his hand, and he was in the kitchen, and he was like, "Hey, kitty cat, hey kitty cat, hey kitty cat, help me out." And they would sit up there, and Carlton was the other puppy, and they was going, boop, 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 <laughs> "We care about you very much." Like nigga, that shit made me laugh so hard. And it's a, like shit like that can be in certain movies, and I'll remember that shit. Yeah, it's, it's definitely. V's kick said the same thing. Yeah, no mention of the mother. They did. It was. Yeah. It was. And it might have just been one of those things that maybe it was too tough to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Because she passed a while ago, and it was like, yo, we we can't even approach this. Let's just let it be. You all realize how old James Earl Jones really is? Ninety. Ninety. <laughs> Hey, all his my boy said this shit on Nappy Afro. He said James Earl Jones did all his parts. He was laying down. He was in the bed. Or he was in the coffin. I'm, I'm wondering if that was necessary. For real, for real, bro. When like more want to be in a you know a wheelchair or something like that. So he's like, well, just you know, maybe. Did Josh? Did Josh see like the bloopers when Morgan Freeman was like they weren't even fucking you? <laughs> <laughs> Morgan Freeman's an asshole, bro. Yeah. I Morgan Freeman is a national treasure, bro. When yeah. Morgan was up there talking, I was sitting, I was literally sitting there with my wife. We're eating dinner and watching at the same time. And he's saying all these parts. He's like, people weren't even having sex anymore. Yeah. And I'm sitting there watching the shit. She's like, why are you doing that? And I'm like, because this shit is funny. This shit's funny, bro. Good shit. Good oh, shit. man. Uh, let's try and get at least one more topic off this list. Shit. All right. Um, OG asked a great question. If if reselling is killing the game, are we aiding and abetting by copy kicks that we don't want to flip for something we want? I think this is a great question for the chat as well. So if, if y'all don't understand what the fuck OG said, he said it in plain English, but we know some of you motherfuckers like myself are stupid. Um if you complain about the resale, but then you buy the shoes and then resell them, how the fuck you complaining about the resale if you resell the shoes to get the shoes you want to get? That's, I think that's that's pretty good. Did I nail it, OG? You did. All right. So it's, now OG has 900 pair of shoes at last count. Um, I would like for you to lead this discussion, sir, because OG has no plans of wearing some of those shoes he has. So I, it's, it's, I was watching, you know, scrolling through the IG like all of us normally do on a particular day. And it was a lot of things that I had seen, uh, you know, comments about where we are now with resale and, you know, just the availability of shoes and all of that. And every lot of comments, if you see a conversation about that goes into reselling, it usually is somebody or several people in there yeah damn uh, the resellers done killed the game resellers done killed the game resellers done killed the game and i just thought you know it's like so but are we like i said eight in a bit and are we doing the same thing you know albeit maybe onesies or twosies but are we doing the exact same thing because the other part that has come in and i know that i've done it because i'm i'm guilty of it i i I was trying to get the fragment threes for myself and I couldn't get my size. So I bought a seven and a half knowing that all I was going to do was flip it. Cause I, you know, I, I, I couldn't get what I wanted and I was going to have to pay more to get what I wanted. So, Hey, let me just, you know, join in on the bank. And it was like, 
But if I'm doing that, you know, does that kind of like I can't really be mad? You know, I can. I'm I'm just being fussy. Would that be more accurate? <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see. Uh, e money. We ain't got no wig. E money saying slippery slope. Yeah, so I, I just I just wonder, you know, how people like if you if you're on the team no reseller, then you know, are you doing that? And and or are you like, well, if when I do it, it's okay, but they're just doing too much. I think what happened is we had to learn to adapt because originally we were buying shoes, we we're going to the store and buying shoes. We were going online and buying shoes. Then you started to see, oh, I'm having a problem going online and buying shoes. Um, people are camping out at stores now. You know, you saw the evolution of what we see now. People are camping out on stores. Okay, there's raffles. All right, cool. I'll get a raffle ticket. Now people bring a family member, two family members, three family members, four family members, paying to skip lines. Okay, now what? As we see it progress to where now there's resellers who have a team of 15 to 20 people at every store, killing every store, or they go online with their bots and kill every site with their bots, it became, okay, I can't get the shoe that I want. And the shoe that I want now is $400 and the price is not dropping. So what can I do to get that shoe? Well, I see this shoe is going up for sale this week. It's going to release this week. Mm -hmm. If I buy this shoe, if I'm able to get this shoe, I can take this shoe, flip it, get what I want. <clears throat> and I'm just taking this shoe. And in all honesty, we don't have a choice because you're not seeing certain stuff. You're not seeing restocks on. You're just not. Like... Cats got lucky when they restocked those Media Day LeBron 7s. And I passed twice. Yeah, Cats got lucky on that. But there was other stuff that didn't restock. That it was just like, like take the Travis Scott 4s. Mm -hmm. Imagine you missed out on Travis Scott 4s, and you like, all right, it's all right. Um, Maybe I can find them around. Okay, they went from 500 to 700 to now they're at a, over $1,000. So now you now you sitting there like, damn, I need to get a thousand. And now resellers, what they're doing is this is their life. This is their this is their income daily. There's a guy I watch on IG. I don't want to say his name because I don't want to give him credit, but this is his everyday job. And I watch him every day moving, buying GS kit kids, toddlers, whatever he can get his hands on that he knows was hot and the price is up, he's selling. That's his everything, everyday thing. And when something big comes out that we want, he has it. Mm -hmm. So now I'm left with, okay, like for example, the the um curry joints that you just got, the dark um rustic joints, the, I think they call the dark curries. You wanted that shoe. When that shoe came out on the sneakers app, no luck. Big so, so now it's either I pay to resell or maybe I cop something for retail that got a high resale value if I can get it and flip it mm -hmm. just to get my shoe so I can break even at least. Because that's what you're really trying to do. You're not trying it, you're not trying to resell them to, to make money. You're just trying to resell to get what you want. You're just trying to adapt. DMV so mentioned that she, she's a woman who's trying to buy shoes and you know buy the shoes that she wants, and she can never get her size. So she started to cop men's sizes because she's like, "Yo, this is the only way I'm going to get my shoe. I buy this shoe and flip it, and now I have the money to get this shoe." And Unfortunately, that's what we have to do now. We had to learn how to adapt, and that's how we adapted. We started going after shit we don't want to get the shit that we want. And that's how we could that's part of how we combated the resellers. I think that's a that's a perfect 
a, a explanation of it. Like it's adaptation. Mm -hmm. And you said it perfectly. So I don't have a lot to add to that. I know that for myself personally, I have stayed away from certain shoes, even shooting the shot that I knew I was going to resell. And that's usually my temperature check. If if I have zero intention of because some shit I will buy because I want to see it before I make my mind up. And usually when I do that, it's going to be between the 12 and the 13 as far as the size goes. Um, and I want to see it first. And then when I get it, if it's reselling, I feel like an idiot for not sending it to StockX or GOAT to resell because I still feel like, and there's no proof of this, when you send something back to Nike, you're resetting your goddamn self. I feel like that. There's no proof, but that's how I feel. So I try not to return shit often. <clears throat> um, and, and, and that I have... In some cases, like the, um, I can't remember the shoe offhand, but I have gotten a shoe and sold it to StockX and took an L just so Nike didn't see me return it. Slight L. I've taken a slight L because Nike, so Nike don't see me return it. Um, Q says, I just want my little pickups. I missed it, OG, my bad. Hang on, I'm coming back. I want my little pickups and go about my business. Sneaker buying is not fun at all anymore. No, that's real shit. Um, right. That's a fact. My my temperature check is like, okay, number one, is this a shoe that I, I want to see first and make my mind up? Or is this a shoe that I know I'm just going to resell? Example of that would be those Kobe's. Those undefeated Kobe's. I liked the white one. Didn't really like the multicolored one. Was I going to keep the white one? Probably not because I know Kobe's going to do numbers. So for me personally, I didn't even take that shot. I didn't bother. I could have made money on it, but if I know that's what I'm doing, I kind of leave it alone. That's that's me. If I know nobody in my crew wants it or that they're just probably trying to resell it, I leave it alone. Nine times of 10, I just leave it alone. Um, and it is frustrating as part of this game. But I think Charles Covington laid that shit out earlier too. I only do IDs and Reebok. Nobody wants them. I'm burnt out chasing down, jumping through who's fake raffles. Real shit, paychecks. Fake raffles, nigga. I've, I've watched a couple of motherfuckers do raffles. I'm like, oh, this nigga won again? I right. um, Charles Covington said earlier, he said, is the, is the issue because some resellers are buying hundreds of pairs? And I think you, the queen, was like, yeah, that's what it is. It's, it's yeah. people buying hundreds. It's the size. So if, if we think about this, in any other arena, when motherfuckers were going to the store before they started putting limits on shit and packing their carts with toilet paper, we was hot. Mm -hmm. When motherfuckers was doing this with sanitizer and loading up stock rooms and garages and then selling hand sanitizer on Amazon for 50 bucks, we was hot. It's the same shit. Yeah, it it's is. It's the same shit. And when I look at, I think what really pisses me off is when I see a shoe that I wanted to buy that I legit wanted to have. And then it it sells out in four seconds and then it goes to StockX and they're reselling it for $5. Before that $5 more, you got to pay StockX $13 or some extra shit. So now that she was costing you an additional $20 for no, and it's going to take you an additional three weeks for no fucking reason other than, than Toby went and bought 700 pairs. So he can cut his margin down. He got him with a Nike discount or whatever. And so he can sell them at five or $10 extra, but he's making all that extra money and it's still hitting me and taking me another three weeks to get a fucking shoe. A I'll, I'll fucking give, shoe. Girl, I'll give you a perfect breakdown. That's real shit, KB. Laker 8s. Now, you know, OG, you know, uh, Beard, you know that I won the Laker 8s because I wanted to change the yellow to purple. And that was the main reason why I wanted them. When the Laker 8s came out, I missed out. Right? Mm -hmm. Laker 8s are 240 on StockX. Right. So, I mean, on GOAT. I'm sorry. So, they're like, okay, it's 240. Then you have your taxes and everything else. It goes up to a certain price. StockX is 240, processing fee, taxes, shipping. So, now you're paying $300. Now you're paying $300 for a shoe. And you like, yo, what the fuck? And the Foot Locker, Dre Day, there's two things I hate about Foot Locker. The thing you just mentioned with allocation. And the second thing is 
the fact that Foot Locker and Foot Action now, you of course, when you go on their site, like when you see a link on Twitter and they're like, oh, yeah, you know, like they did a restock on the Fire Red Fours. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yo, they restocked the Fire Red Fours. Everybody here knows when you go to Foot Lock and you hit their size, you hit the size on your the shoe you want, and you hit add to cart, it never adds to cart. It always says it's out of stock. Or or you failed to capture. You're a yeah. bot. I'm mean, a nigga wasn't no capture. Yeah, and, and that was the thing. Like, you're sitting there trying to add the cart, add the cart, add the cart, because you're trying to beat a bot. And now, now, they're, bot. now they're like, oh, you're blocked. Yeah, why am how am I blocked? Because I'm trying to put the shoe in the cart, and y'all got bots and don't have no type of bot connect, but no type of bot protection. Yeah, it is like, bro, and that's where it gets to the point where it's like, what do I do now? And like, I, I know there's certain shoes that I do not go after, like where it'd be like, yo. People be like, yo, I really want these. Unless y'all ask me, like, yo, mm -hmm. can you do me a favor? Can you shoot the shot? Cool. I'd rather save up the money and then go after the shoe. But once in a while, there's a shoe that I want, and I make, I might get it and then turn around and have it for a while and be like, yo, this shoe is worth X amount of dollars, and I really want this shoe here. It happened to me two or three times. Yeah. Like so it's you absolutely right. You, I, I take this shoe and I'll sell it, and now I can get the shoe that I really want that I wasn't able to get before. A, a little downline for me, but I had the Obsidian ones, and I had the Platinum Tint Tens. I like both shoes. The Platinum Tint Tens was just going to be a custom. The Obsidian ones was one of those that I ordered because I wanted to see it in hand first. Once I got it, I was like, "This is a dope shoe." Just hadn't worn it. the The documentary came out. We ain't been nowhere, so I haven't worn either pair of shoes. Didn't get the custom done yet. Had one of the obsidians, and them shoes went up in value. And I was like, "Fuck! I got those from the outlet. I got the plat the platinums from the outlet for like a hundred dollars. They were selling for three hundred. The obsidians I got for retail, they were selling for three hundred. I was like, so downline. What that ended up being for me was my media day sevens. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was like I didn't buy them to resell. Mm -hmm. Um, even when I hit on those two pair of flu games, I didn't. And, and the Royals, there's there's shoes that I bought two pair of because I wanted to get a backup pair. I wanted one pair to fuck up. I want another pair to be fresh when I had to go out. That's why I got two pair of Jordan 11s. I got a pair that I wore out of town with my wife for uh, we did like a honeymoon. I wore that pair out of town. That pair is up here. The other pair y'all saw me wear. I rock them and rock them and rock them and rock them. When I want to be fresh, I pull that other pair out. Put it, that's how I rotated them. The Royals. Caddy got me the Royals again. TK133. It's part of where we came from. Mm -hmm. Caddy got me a pair. I got a pair. Caddy's pair that he got me was fresh as fuck, but I knew I wanted two pair. I wore my pair. Somebody came and offered me uh, was it 260 or something stupid for the pair I wore? Here! I got another pair here. And then I was like, okay, I'm not wearing these. I was able to go get another pair for less than retail. So I still got my two pair. The pair I got off, but I still got the two pair. So I, I think that we got to be fair to ourselves when we're doing this game. I get it. You, Some of us that have a goddamn uh, a self-monologue, an internal monologue, feel like shit when you go and flip them shoes. Mm -hmm. Some of us feel like shit because we know it's the game. But the game is also perpetuated on us because I, nigga, we're going to say it again. I, I, I thought that I may have one season where I don't talk about this, but I'm not. The unions, nigga. I hit both pair of unions for retail. At the time, I needed the fucking money. They went for eight. They're going for twenty seven hundred now. If there's ever a shoe that I could keep in my pocket, I didn't buy that shoe to resell. I bought the shoe to see first, and if I was gonna keep them cool, I hit on both pairs. Y'all saw me on the show. If y'all been rocking with us that long, not you, Terp, because you wasn't here. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all been rocking with us long enough y'all know when i got that shoe i was conflicted i talked to caddy about that shit for about three days Bruh. i was like nigga i really want to keep this black toe i was like i really like this fucking shit but listen life decisions come along i hey. had bro i had the unc off-white ones this shit had to, that's true i, I remember that i, it was like, bro. I was like yo and, and this, that's that's how caddy said it. he's like bro 
they going for, I think at that point, there was like 12. I don't know. I ain't pocket watching, but it I was remember like, it, was, it was like about eleven, twelve hundred dollars $1,200. And I'm like, yo, I really like this shoe, but, but, I'm, <laughs> but I'm paying for a wedding. And I was like, yo, nigga, we got to pay for this cake. Yeah. So I, so I sold it. And now we like, nigga, if, if I could, if I could, I would love to go get that motherfucker. And, and and now, so so bringing this full circle, and then we can wrap up the show or talk to the people. What the fuck we gonna do? Bringing this full circle, I've been able to because of Deacon Discount, extra doing people who can work from home got the upper hand. I can't find shit in Marshall Bros. Listen, paychecks, don't even take your ass to the mall, nigga. I went yeah. to the mall today to look at a regular ass the Jordan one by twos. I saw a colorway that I thought was dope. I went to the mall to see if I could see them in hand. Oh, nigga, they ain't got nothing but mall walking shoes. Finish line ain't got shit in there. It wasn't even worth the trip going in. I risked COVID to go look at a bunch of bullshit. I was mad. Don't go to the mall. Um, so bringing this full circle, because of the way I shop and buy shoes and find deals, I got great people like Caddy. I got great people like OG. Uh, we got a lot of recipes we able to pick from. Wait, hold on. It was a red velvet cake. <laughs> red velvet ain't no small red velvet cake, baby. That you got to max that shit out. That shit was a five tier red velvet cake. We I was about to say shit. three tiers minimum. Three <laughs> tiers minimum for the red velvet. Um, I was able to come up on the reverse shattered backboards for a decent price. I was able to get the Dornbecker fives for a stupid price. I was able to get the Chicago ones pre Jordan uh thing for a ridiculous price. I got the Jordan 1 Lowe's for regular price at the time. All those prices have inflated. They've put me in a position now because of the resale game that if I get an offer for each of those shoes, I should be able to get my one pair of unions back. How stupid does that sound? Even if this was all retail, those unions were 200, 220 with shipping. Chicago's was one, uh, 160. Uh, sh- this is, I'm talking about retail prices. 160 for the reverse shatters. The lows were 90 when they fucking released. The Dornbeckers were 200 when they released. If I was trading this retail for retail, that's fucking dumb. But now the game has flipped so far away, I could legit try and trade those four pair of shoes in, and they'd be like, we still need cash. Nigga, mm-hmm. fuck this game. I'm, I'm off into something different. I'm all about knives. 2021, we buying knives. <laughs> nigga, y'all, I'm buying tape in 2021. I'm all about these sandals, nigga. We all get the... I, you got to find something else, bro, because this game will fucking kill you. And we all going to the same niggas for this shit. And, that, and, and that's, who's checking the checkers? OG, oh, that's a call back to Soul, uh, Soul Food Sneaker Talk. Who's checking the motherfucking checkers? And, and that's the thing I want to get back to, OG. Like, when you mention about um the resellers and you know we we talk about the resellers but does it feel like we're kind of doing the same thing it's like it, it's almost like we like you getting cheated on and now you like i'm not gonna take this shit no more i'm a cheat too right and it's like and it's like the person who's cheating being like so you cheating on me? Well, nigga, you been cheating on me. So what was I supposed to do? I adapted. Like, I, I don't want to leave you, but I'm not just going to let you run all over me. So this is what I had to do. What's going on, Ricardo Bonner? So it's like, we let's be, we going to be toxic together. <laughs> and, and, and now and, I'm looking at this. Go ahead, OG. Go ahead. I was just going to say, I'm, I'm there. I mean, I, I already, you know, self, you know, exposed. I, I, that's the formula, you know, that, that I feel like I got to use now. Um, I don't know who the first, the first person I saw post this was, um, I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, resell is the new retail. And that's, that's, that's a dark place to be. But in order to play in that pond, you gotta, you know, and like you said, Folks like, you know, Miss DMV Soul, you know, she she like, hey, welcome to my world. I've been living here, you know, yeah, the whole time. And I, I, I totally don't knock her for it because she's like, listen, I got to buy these men's sizes to get this woman's size of this or to get the smaller size of this. And it's like, hey, do it because you know why? Because somewhere there's 15 cats 
sitting behind computers in a group in a cook group. Yeah, ruining your chance, walking away with 400 pairs and about to sell you your pair. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you the fan price. Just give me 450 for them. Oh, oh, and we've had Sam pricing where they still hit us with the goddamn resale price. Mm-hmm. In, 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 in our in, in our goddamn circle, motherfuckers and hit us with the re and we supposed to be we supposed to be brothers. And you done <laughs> hit me with the motherfucking resale price. Bootsy baby hit a home run with this shit. Uh but now the counterfeit's taken off too, and that's another rabbit hole. Listen, if you talk to yourself at all, you find yourself feeling like a fucking idiot because it's like, okay, so nigga, let's let's just be rational about this. Let's let's be rational. The shoe comes out, it's $190. You get done with taxes, it's 205, 207, 210, 215 if you were in New York, mm-hmm. right? You get it shipped to you for free. That's the cost of the shoe. Mm-hmm. Niggas with bots and networks and backdoors get the shoe on release day. It sells out before you get a shot. You go to StockX. This motherfucking shoe is $150, $200 higher, depending on what the fucking collab is already. So now you at $375, $400 for the same fucking shoe. And you're like, God damn. You consider it paying more just because it's not available. Or... There's a website over here that's selling the shoe that looks just like the shoe. It's close enough. The inside ain't the same or whatever the fuck ever. It's close enough. And the chances are that it's close enough that you could still have the fucking shoe, but it ain't the shoe. Do I pay the $400 for the legit pair that three people done ate off of at least? The nigga that with the bot, the nigga that sent it to StockX and then StockX. Or do I pay $150 for the shoe that ain't the shoe? Because really what I'm trying to do is be fresh, take a little funk-ass picture, and enjoy my day. That's that's what I want. At the end of the day, that's why most of us are buying shoes. We want to look good and feel good. That's why the fuck we're buying shoes. If it's something else, culture, I'm not knocking you. But I, I would I would gather most of us buy the little pussy ass shoes, the little fucking shirt that matches it, the goddamn hat, the socks. We take the fucking pictures. We don't spend extra money on this phone. We got this little fucking light cube on our shit. We got a goddamn um, tripod set up. We don't spend gas. We don't scout a fucking place just so we can take one funky ass picture. Or if you Dre Day, seventeen pictures. Or if you Caddy, <laughs> five hundred pictures. You are gonna take this fucking picture? Put it on Instagram. Put your quote up. Your people going to like it. They're going to say, Daps, dope. You feel good. And there's nothing wrong with that shit. And then the motherfucker goes in the box. It gets glitter on it. You don't see that bitch for another four years. You spent $400 plus gas plus lighting for your phone, your $1,000 phone, your $75 tripod, and you scouted this goddamn location. You risked your life because you hanging off the goddamn subway, caddy, to take a picture next to this bum on this train, caddy, just so you could take a fucking picture. You put your thousand dollar camera on the tripod Excuse in the me. middle of New York, caddy. Excuse me. Just so you, you could take you have a any, fucking you have picture. Any, you have any change, chief? <laughs> no, I don't, hustle man. You done did all this shit so you could go ahead and get this picture. I do it too. So I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about us, right? You done did all this shit for the picture so you can feel good. Or you can holler at old girl from across the water, pay 150 take your picture, still feel fresh, still look fresh. I'm, I'm going to bring up something. because What do you do? You speaking to my spirit right now. I, I, I and I'm talking for me. I've here, done this here, shit. I've had that why. conversation. Here's why. There's a guy on YouTube named MK the Truth. Mm-hmm. Um, he's on IG under the name Minor Kicks, and he deals with UAs and he breaks down UAs. And his thing is, if I don't get them for retail, I'm going across the water. And he buys UAs and he's like, look, it's the same quality. It's the same stuff. And I'm sitting there like, I get it. 
I'm I'm just not personally, I'm not there. And I'm not either. That's why I say if you talk <laughs> to yourself, if you talk to yourself, you feel like a fucking idiot because every yeah. time listen to what I just said, I'm putting myself in the motherfucking box. Unions. Okay, god damn it. $2,800. I just listed four pair of shoes that I can get off of to get close to getting that one shoe. Or I can go to one of these sites because YouTube has made it available for me to go to one of these sites and pay $150 to get the same fucking shoe. And what's my goal? My goal is to be fresh, nigga. I'm not a lot of shit, but I think I'm a fat nigga who can get fly quite decently. Okay? Not all the time, but I think when I want to do what I got to do, I can do it. But I'm also from St. Louis, and I'm a real nigga, and I don't know wearing that shit. I'm not that dude. I'm just not, and that's not a knock against anybody else. I haven't come to grips with it, and I think it's stupid that I have it. Ocho Cinco has a lot more money than me. That nigga said all the gold that he wore was fake while he was playing. Why? Because there's no, he said this shit in this fucking real talk. He, who are we talking about? But check who we talking about. We ain't talking about. I'm talking about me. Um, <laughs> he said, the reason that I wear this shit and it's fake because there's nothing that I can put on that's going to be bigger for my name than me. And I said, nigga. Nigga, my name is made. There's nothing I can put on that's going to make me a bigger or better Chad Johnson than what the fuck I've done in my life. Damn. That's a word for your ass. And so you just got to figure out what you want to do. I'm not knocking anybody's hustle. I think that, you know, and I think across the board, OG, Caddy, anybody who loves sneakers, regular niggas, if you selling me something that I think I'm buying and it's not what I'm buying, if you selling me the fake shit telling me it's real, we got problems. Absolutely. Absolutely. We got problems. All day if, long. If you want to buy some shit, Caddy, you want to buy some fake shit and flex Heavy and, and be dope and take your pictures, fine. If we having a conversation, you want to be like, yeah, because mine was $300 too. Don't do that shit. <laughs> Don't do that shit. If, if that's what you rocking, I'm, there's uh, there's most chance that I'm not going to check shit. Right? Because mm -hmm. some of you niggas, if we being 100% honest, a lot of you niggas are spending a lot of money on shit that's expensive that still looks like shit. So let's not mix this up about dibbling, dabbling about what the fuck we're talking about. Some expensive shit is bullshit too. Yeah. So it's it's not a game about well you didn't spend three hundred dollars so your shit ain't fresh in mind. No, some of you niggas got Balenciagas and some of this shit. Y'all, some of you niggas, box. you 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 bought those two chains Versace shoes. Them motherfuckers look like asshole. You bought them. Them shits is ugly as fuck. Like, bro, there's shit like that. But just rock. Pop says it all the time in his post. Rock and cop what you like. That's exactly. real shit. But don't lose your motherfucking house and don't pay no bills for a goddamn shoe. Stop it. I have a question. Please What's do. Up? It some uh comments in here about Reddit. Like I'm clueless. Do I even so I, ask that question? I know what Reddit is, but post the question up or tag the question that you're talking about specifically. Caddy's mm -hmm. the smart one on the show. Um there's probably some stuff on Reddit, like a forum where they talk about stuff like this. I've seen your favorite YouTubers in that Reddit thread, but shh. so paychecks double X. I'm sure that that's some shit that you know more about than I do. Um, I, I believe he's probably saying that basically, if you are Reddit, then you know. So I don't know. But I'm, gonna take, I'm gonna take a guess from what I know about paychecks. Uh, if he if if that was the whole thing I was talking about with minor kicks and MK the truth, then okay. I know what he's talking about. Talk about it. Talk about it because I don't then, know. Then that must be ball. what we talking about is um. Uh, are we are we talking about fakes and shoe tubers? Is that what we're doing? So it's that, that's why I was gonna guess is that he's saying that some of these niggas that y'all love that's got the earlies and it's got mm -hmm. the shit is actually rocking fake shit. Not mine. I know not mine. Or miner says his shit straight out. He'll let you right. know, like, yo, if I don't pay <laughs> re or retail, we going to get this UA, and he gonna show you. Look at it, and he gonna compare it to a real one and be like, look, it's the same shit. It's the same. You know, materials, you know, this might be a change here and a change there. And he'll so show you shit on a on a real shoe where it'd be like, look, that same trace line is on the real pair. I, 
I, I think my biggest issue with this shit is that if, <clears throat> because I think that a lot of us, including myself, a lot of us, our authenticity, depending on what the topic is, is going to waver. Right. So all of us at some point went to school with a nigga who had a big ass diamond ear earring in his ear. And that motherfucker was nowhere near a diamond. We know that because he's 13. You don't have a job. I was that nigga. <laughs> you didn't have a fucking diamond earring. Right. We know this. We know that this go look, this watch. OK, this is not a gold watch. This do you know how much a fucking gold watch would cost? But this is a gold colored watch that is metal from a goddamn us. Uh, I, these are probably diamond chips, but these ain't fucking. You know what I'm saying? We we allow certain shit to happen, right? Mm -hmm. We allow certain, shit and, and it's okay because we know what the fuck we're doing. These real, but they're not solid. Well, this one's solid. This one ain't solid, but it's gold. Why does that matter? Because I couldn't check myself to go buy a solid one this much because it'd be about three grand. And I'm not wearing a three grand necklace. There's nothing that I'm doing in my life where I need a three grand necklace, right? So I'm not doing that shit. But what I was getting to, sorry about the tangent, because y'all know I'm fussy right now. If when I was talking about checking your goddamn temperature and your authenticity, if Jay-Z came out tomorrow and he said that I'm wearing nothing but fake fitteds and fake Nikes because whatever the fuck, I'm not even going to give it a bigger cause because that give you another out. If he was just like, yes, all my shit is fake from here on out. I'm not doing that shit no more. My shit, I'm rocking fakes. Which market you think is going to pop? Which market is going to pop? It ain't going to be the reals. DHL, you will see more yellow vans in this motherfucking hood than you can keep up with. And that's real shit. I need them I'm hovers. Big, I'm big fussy, cute queen. But that's, that's what the fuck it is. And a lot of us are like that. A lot of us Authenticity only Q. goes as far as the motherfuckers is checking it. She said fake fitness is a thing. Yes. There was oh, fake nigga. fitness. Nigga, do you know New York is the capital of fake fitness? Let's let's not even go that far with it. You can get and I had some and I had to eBay. I got fake new era blanks. F Yo. Nigga, new era blanks. This is when I was trying to do lift heavy hats. I ordered the motherfuckers. I immediately looked. I was like, this don't look right. And I'm looking. Nigga, did you sell me fakes? You sold me fake new era blanks? Yo, I'll never forget when I was in high school. My wife, when, I, when we were together in high school for a Christmas gift, and she going to be mad I brought this shit up, brought me a forest green Yankee fitted. Cause that's what there was one I wanted. This is when the, the color fitteds had just came out. Mm -hmm. She got me the color, the forest green Yankee fitted, and I got this shit and put this shit on, and was like, "This shit feel funny." And looked at it, and I was like, "This shit is fake." She got it for me as a Christmas gift. I was like, "This shit is fake," and she was like, "What?" And I was like, "This is fake," and I gave it back to her. To this day, she's still like, she's like, but you didn't even keep it. And I was like, because it was a fake. <laughs> so here's the question for you, because of what you just said, Caddy. What do you mean by fake? How was it a fake jersey? As in, go ahead, explain that. Now, I'll, it was, I'll, a, it, I'll was a counter, it was a counterfeit New Era hat. So okay, the, the tag was off in the back. The New Era tag on the inside was jacked up. Okay, so this was something that was trying to be the authentic shit. Yeah, and New York is known for that. Like we've talked about it before on the show, Canal Street. Canal, mm -hmm. you can go to Canal Street in New York City. You can find everything that you're looking for. You want a fake Louis bag? We got fake Louis bags with serial numbers on them, seventy dollars, mm -hmm. and it has the little tote, the little dust bag that you can mm -hmm. wrap in it with the serial number on it and everything. It's like. You, it's the capital of fakes here. We allow fakes in other ways, too. A, a fucking Nike basketball jersey, depending on what the fuck it is, is $200, $250, $300 from Nike, stitched like they wear on the court. And then there's the Nike replicas, which is a fucking fake iron-on jersey that's $125. And then you have the majestic cool base version, which is $90, which is even less quality. These are all step down, stepped on products of the original, but mm -hmm. it's okay. It's okay. We're ex and, and I'm talking, I'm a nigga with 
cool base jerseys in the I don't give a fuck. You think I'm gonna spend $250 every time I want to wear a jersey? Eat a dick. I'm not doing that, right? Listen, listen so, that blue Ozzy Smith <laughs> jersey is a lot of money, bro. <laughs> hey, but I'm not what are we doing it for? What what the fuck is you doing? And I feel like right now, all of us, and I'm gonna I'm gonna stop ranting because I know I done went way off off topic. I think all of us. Why we doing LLC Twitter and, and stimmy checks and all this other bullshit that don't fucking mean anything. I think now we all have a time. You working from home, you got to recenter what the fuck we're talking about. This goddamn Instagram shit is going to ruin a lot of you niggas with the stimulus shit, chasing down likes, all this other bullshit. And you're not being practical about what the fuck you're doing. This ain't even a money thing. This is your life shit we're talking about. This sneaker shit has gotten so far out the way that niggas is buying brand new houses, cars, businesses off of shit that they didn't even fucking make. You literally made a network of niggas that's going to get together to gobble up all the shit and push extra profit. You making $120 off a shoe because you knew a nigga. Mm -hmm. And why? And why are we allowing that shit to happen? When when it when it when um I think it was the Pfizer when we called the dude the Pfizer dude when he bought the patent to that um that drug and he said okay fuck it I'm gonna jack the price up we all was mad as fuck he should go to jail when that nigga bought the Wu Tang album we we was mad as hell what kind of bullshit is that it's bro we doing this shit every day y'all do what you want to do y'all rock how y'all want to rock. But OG's question was on point, and I, I think it was one of those things that, like, you can either adapt to try and keep playing the same fucking game, mm -hmm. or you could try and self-check and get yourself a new hobby or, or or back away from the shit if it's not treating you right. Because at the end of the day, y'all study paying extra, we're study paying extra money, and all we getting is a motherfucking collab release of a shoe or a special song at halftime or the motherfuckers turn around and saying that we're going to throw some money at some black colleges and you don't still pay the nigga off on the side. Yep, fakes are so good, man. Rep Milwaukee better change his name before people get the wrong idea. <laughs> a, a GGC Reels. <laughs> Rep Milwaukee better change his name before people get the wrong idea. His name may have a whole nother meaning. That is a joke for people who slide in here and want to take shit and run back. That's a joke from GTC oh, Reels, and it's oh, funny. That was like half Milwaukee. court. Like that was it was a great um, job. OG, you got a whole soundboard over there. You ain't got a swoosh. You ain't got a swoosh soundboard. soundboard. It's the first week. It's the first week. God oh, damn it! I, yeah, and I saw shit. regular regular Mike say get some organ sounds on there for when when beer goes fussy. I need to make some fussy shirts. We need some church music. Who who wants to buy a fussy shirt? I'm gonna make a fussy shirt. shirt. You gonna buy a fussy shirt? I buy fussy. We get Caddy a fussy shirt. I'm gonna get a fussy shirt too. Fussy. Um, that's real shit. So while y'all all checking what the fuck you doing, don't check your pockets before you go to lifthevy.com. All that shit is authentic Lift Heavy if you buy it from Lift Heavy. L-F-T-H-V-Y.com. Don't go to Amazon. That nigga's not me. L-F-T-H-V-Y-S-H-T. That's not me either. Lift Heavy Clothing is me. Or you can come to my site, lifthick.com. I get don't everything go to Caddy's Caddy's site. Street, baby. Yeah, don't go to Caddy's <laughs> site. All of that stuff will smell like booty. Make Lift it fussy in a box. Uh, KB Fresh Kicks, I already got one better. I already been cooking that one. Mm. Caddy seen it. Q the Queen seen it. I seen it. I'm already on it. He had it on his only hams. <laughs> uh, oh, here this thing go. <laughs> so, on that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come the fuck. Oh, on that, that note, up, <laughs> on that note, bro, we we went way over time. Beer got fussy. You might as well make that the title of the show. Beer got fussy. Uh, <laughs> that might not be the title, but it's funny. It, it, you know, if y'all don't get it, y'all don't get it. Um, but thank y'all for fucking with us. Thank the chat. Thank you, Boosie Baby, for bringing up the topic of fakes on top of that shit because I think that added another dimension to the conversation. Yes, and the shit ain't over. This shit ain't over. We can talk about this shit every week if y'all want to, right? Because that's the community we live in. All of us are spending money for shoes to take pictures. KB Fresh Kick spends a lot of money. Dre Day spends a lot of money. I'm pocket watching. Spends a lot of money on shoes. Huh? 
Huh? KB, KB made me mad this week. KB went way out oh, of pocket. Okay, he, he, posted, he posted up that, that nice picture, perfectly white balanced, of the UNC ones and so suede joints. And I was like, you so and, then, and then I I didn't have to you know break the bank for this I I was so patient. <sighs> so disrespect. E money shoes spends a lot of money to take pictures for you. Oh, hold babies. up! Before we leave this shit, yes sir. Let, let's talk about real quick. Did anybody see the who has the heat call out battle? I saw some of it. Did you see when E money? Uh, battled uh, money fresh clothing. Oh, that was the most disrespectful shit. First of all, who has the heat? Saturdays, Sundays, Saturdays, eight thirty. Check them out. They had a call out battle. Go ahead, Caddy. Bro, these niggas pulled out. <sighs> Let's see, DB ones, right? DB ones. Um. What did E Money pull out? E Money, the Scott, whatever the Scott. The black, white, and red ones. Uh, ain't that the guy's name? The not the Dave White, not the Dave White ones. Yeah, he money pulled out. I know he pulled out the um, the Oklahoma fours. He pulled out Oklahoma fours. My man pulled out off white Chicago one samples. That's what it was. So disrespectful. And I'm like, time out. What are we doing here? Yeah, nigga. Eat money. If you gotta, if you got a stimulus, I'm telling. Because these niggas should not have stimulus. I'm telling. These niggas is pulling out samples. These niggas is pulling out shoes. Like, I was like, what? Wait, what? What? Jim Red one samples. I'm like, I'm telling. I'm snitching. Y'all are selling drugs. I was like. I was like, yeah, E Money's yeah. over there in Hawaii selling drugs to Moana. And I want <laughs> it was very fucking disrespectful. I'm trying to see if I can get skipped to that part of the goddamn show. Because I the the round before that, I don't know the sister's name. She pulled out nothing but LaShawn high Terry. level fashion. Nigga. Shout out to LaShawn Terry, finger snaps, finger snaps. I said, bro, what are we doing right now? What I thought we were just sitting back talking shoes. Oh no. We're going to pull out all the most disrespectful shit. Ben 13s came out the motherfucker. Bro, oh that's goodness. what he pulled out. He pulled out Ben 13s, and we was like, can we get a number, please? And he was like, <laughs> right. he was like 0340 out of 1736. I was like, oh. Well. It, and we it started off wrong because I think he, I think the Bens was the first one he pulled out. Then yeah. he pulled out the fucking Turduckins, mm -hmm. the, the special box Turduckins. Shout out to Hop because <laughs> he like, shouted out like, Hop. Like, <laughs> like what are y'all niggas doing? What are y'all niggas doing? Um, I'm trying to look and catch up here now. Uh, trophy room fives, bruh. Numbered trophy room fives. Uh, let's see another pair of off white Jordan ones, the white pair, platinum. Uh, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Yeah. But what Dang I want to know is if, if if all that heat was over there, what happens when you send the lifeline to eat money? Where that's where's that where the <laughs> nobody, nobody <laughs> sends the lifeline. Nobody sends the lifeline to e money. I don't you think know. he's ever been called. No, oh, he's been called. He's he has been called before. But he has, never, I, I'm he gonna be called like, consistency because your superpower has been revealed now, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when he comes in here, he says his money in the room. He's talking about himself. Mm -hmm. He's talking about himself. So yeah, that's that is what it is. If you are, These are niggas you who wait, Marcus, Marcus, Marcus. When you're in the battle and you gotta use a lifeline, you call E Money's ass out. You be like, call oh, E Money. E Money. E -money. And, if, and if he don't pull out some of that heat, whoop his ass because he got it. Yeah, he got he it. If he don't pull out any of that heat, nigga, the fix is in. <laughs> he got it. Dre Day made my point. I know he's mm. called, but he ain't be pulling that heat. E money, speak for yourself, sir. Before we get off this show, what do you have to say for yourself, sir? So e what do you have called, to say? He might even call. He'd be like, "Yeah, I got these. Um, let's okay. see, I, I got these Walmart shacks, the shack threes." Um, he told him, "No, no, 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 no." He's trying, he trying to hit us. 
no, 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 we saw the shit. And the Benz, look, he was so nasty with it. The Benz was on top right next to him. So he was like, oh, we going? Hey, okay, and he, cool. pulled, he pulled out the wooden shoe tree, showed the wooden shoe tree and all that shit. That was so like, disgusting. That was so like, disgusting. Dirty motherfucker. <laughs> don't want so your manager dancing in your videos. Right. Don't let him do that to you. Shit. But yeah, uh, as for me, thank y'all for the dope show. Um, I fucks with y'all. Lift heavy. Buy some shit. If y'all trying to get a TK black shirt, a blackout shirt, DM me. I'll see what I can do. 10 deep. We can do another run. If it ain't 10 deep, I got what I got left. It is what it is. So, yeah. Holla at you. Uh, family, we appreciate you. Thank you for making the show what it is. Um, We wouldn't be here without you guys. At all. Uh, at all. And um, y'all the reason why we do this. Y'all the reason why we do this. Y'all the reason why we sit here and have these convos. Y'all the reason why we're here. So thank you. We love you. We'll see you next week. Well, now it's time to go. Appreciate y'all. More rim shots next week. More applause. <laughs> More laughter. When I figure out how to run this thing the correct way. Why y'all let this nigga buy a soundboard, y'all? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Why y'all let this nigga buy a soundboard? This nigga got crickets. This nigga got crickets. This nigga got all this shit. But you don't got a benediction song, do you? And you I'm ain't got I'm gonna have one next week. Everyone's standing got, all yeah, over the building. I'm gonna have one next week. All that stuff people say you don't got this, you don't got that. Just wait, beloved. <laughs> this nigga tweezy. This nigga said, I just missed it, Caddy. Let me be the reason you started brushing. <laughs> Dirty motherfucker. <laughs> What's going on, Tweezy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I yeah, don't know. Dope show. Appreciate you. You don't know it is your boy. OG Sneakers. One third of the solely trinity. We appreciate yeah. that you. And it's not one thing you could do about it. And I know you want me to say a certain thing, but me not going to say it today. Okay, Barrington Levy, whatever you want to do. No, 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 no. Total sneaker family. We got one love. See y'all next week. Peace out. Dre Day. Your shirt's on the line, nigga. Right. In 10 deep. Come on, y'all. Represent. J jump in Jedi's uh, DMs and let them know. 10 and we can get a re-up. We got.